<clears throat> hey guys hi gaga <laughs> i got my book in from gaga hi darla so we're gonna color in it today hi julia but i do have a bunch more art cards to show first so yeah let's see if i got this tilted down good right there probably so uh, hi arlene anybody popping in thanks everybody for being here i changed my background again i'm loving putting these different papers on here from trisha green so um <laughs> How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a good week so far. I went and got my eye appointment done yesterday. So I just got to get some new, I ordered my new glasses. And they said it'll probably take a couple weeks. So I got that out of the way yesterday. So I didn't get to go to my usual Hobby Lobby. And so I did go to the post office after my appointment so that I could uh, get any, um, cards which i got some and um hi mama four and my fragile world came in let me turn my fan this way and then i got another order in from um a more hi bony <laughs> another uh order in from um selena a more fabrics i got another order in and uh, while I'm sitting here talking to y'all, I think I'm going to, I got some, um, long, they're long strips, long strips of uh, sari silk, and um, these are already cut down. So I thought while I'm sitting here talking to you, I might make a couple rag flags out of them. So let's see, it's tipping it down with rain and losing internet okay i hope not yeah my mom she lost her um power you know she's in texas so she lost her um power for about six hours last night finally came back on some i think about 11 o'clock last night so she didn't have to sleep in the cold but uh <laughs> but anyway um she went out to her car to charge her phone and uh let's see that's the wrong side this has to go on this side let's put it on the right side there and um so anyway uh you know like most of texas right now is uh doesn't have power hi coloring with vicky we're gonna color today we're gonna color in kirby's new book that gaga sent me for my birthday hi ashley colors let's see Amer ameras G, hi G. G, I watched your um, video this morning where you were coloring with the Crayola, Crayola markers. If y'all like the um, know how to do more water coloring with Crayola markers, G did a video. I guess she did it yesterday. I saw it this morning. So if y'all want to see how to, I'm just uh, all I'm doing here is just taking a little, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe three inches of of uh fabric and just tucking it in the top of a paper clip and just making a slip knot like trying to get my finger in there there we go just making a slip knot with the um the little strip of fabric so there we go and just pull it like that and you have these little cute little paper clip i call them rag flags hi zeely Hi, Janet. So I'm just sitting here making a couple of paper clip rag flags while I'm uh, waiting for everybody to get in. Then we're going to color in my new um, Fragile World from uh, Gaga today. <laughs> hi, hi, Karen. Anybody else I'm missing? So I guess I could come over. Let me move my camera over just a little here. I'm kind of there we go I have to have it close enough to me to make this slip knot so what's everybody else been working on are you still selling old books 
you mean my books that I have that I don't need? <laughs> well, like what what kind of book are you needing? What book are you wanting, um, Amaris? As, if you're not international, are you? If you're international, I'm not. I can't do it. <clears throat> so. Hi, Cheryl, Sherry, Cat and Pace, B, Julia. Oh, you got your card. Oh, good. You got your cardinal pouch. Oh, I'm so glad. Thanks for sending postage, too. And, of course, I'll send you out a print when I, I send out my prints at the beginning of the month. Thank you, Julia. I'm so glad you like it. Oh, oh, good, Dee Dee Battle. You mean in, in the color book here? Okay, yeah. Well, we'll get there. And I don't know. Have I met you before? I don't recognize Dee Dee Battle unless you have another name. Hi, Trisha. I'm using your backgrounds. Another. I'm switching them out. <laughs> and then I fold them back up and put them back in the in the portfolio and then pull out another one. <laughs> so I'm just switching out all your, uh, your uh, Asian uh, papers you sent me. It's fun. It's fun to put a different paper out here every day. Uh, Janet Scavenger Hunt, is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's a good one to work on. Joy, Joy, I got mail from you, which I'm getting ready to show. I think I got your art cards. Are you, you're not the Joy that won the color book page. I think that Joy was a new Joy and just named Joy. Because I, I never got Joy, the color book, uh, the girl that won the color book last week. I mean, not the color book, the color book page. And I never got her address. So are you, you must be a different Joy because you have a full name. And she didn't have a full name. Uh, let's see. Jane, Bethany. Is your name Dee Dee Battle? Okay. Yeah, well, that's mine. Dee Dee Willingham. <laughs> I just spell it different. Was it you? Okay, Joy. But I did get, I think you're the one I got some, I got your art cards here today. So I did get a whole bunch more art cards in. I know, doesn't it? Here, look. Doesn't it look good? And it changes, the light changes things. Look, it got real kind of yellow, didn't it, because of this. So, hi, KNRP Kim. Hi, Tori. So, um, yeah, it's, yeah, I got it. It's, it's, I have it stuck in the book. I have it stuck in the book. I'm going to show it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh and a whole bunch of you know other uh cards that i want to show before we get to coloring so um yeah um i had my eye appointment yesterday so i didn't get to really you know look at every art card well i mean i opened them up saw who sent them um some of the girls that were worried about theirs like devin that hers came in um so Anyway, but, um, you know, I was gone most of the day yesterday, so I didn't get to, uh, I haven't studied them. <laughs> and I, and I did go, I did pick a couple pages that I might color. And, um, and these are just pieces off. I bought a bag, a whole bag of the, of the sorry silk strips. And so I just, all I did this morning was cut some of these off that, that match my paper clips. So I this up. Um, what do you use? I use them in my art journals, any, any journals, like this one doesn't have any in it right now. Cause I have paper. I mean, I have other things going on in this one, but you just, um, use them for paper clips, just like your paper clips. And when you get a whole bunch of them up there, they look really, um, they look really pretty when you have a whole bunch of them. Now I'm trimming these down just a little, they're a little long. I make them a little on the long side while I'm making them. So I, so I don't have to struggle with making the strip of uh, the uh, slip knot. And then I trim them down, but right now I'm just like feeding them all through and then I'm going to trim them down. So yeah, you use them for just like you do regular paper clips on, you know, to paper clip something, but you can kind of use it as a bookmark. Kind of like a bookmark. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lynette P. Uh, Kimberly557. I know I'm missing people coming. I'm just uh, feeding a few little um, pieces of this sorry silk through the through my paper clips here. And then I'll trim them all down. Then I'll have some made because this is my new, my new fabrics. <laughs> yeah, they do look pretty, but I use them. I do use them. 
So let's see. Let's do this last one. I think I'll do this one on a blue. And then I also bought some trims. I bought um, when Selena had her deal of the day trims. I did place an order for those. So, um, yeah. Okay. Let me move these paper clips now. Let's just put them in there. So now I'll just trim them down. So let's see. I'm not sure which one of these scissors work the best for paper. I mean, for fabric. I don't really have fabric scissors. I really need fabric scissors. I use these little ones like this for trimming. Uh, I mean, for cutting thread. But I don't really have any good fabric scissors because I'm not, I don't use fabric a lot except just to trim these little, you know, little things like this. So let's see if this is going to. Yeah, that one's not too good. Let's see. Let's try. You know, let me go ahead and try my thread one here. That's probably going to be my best one. So then what I do is just trim them down. And and it depending on the fabric, the, the, some of them will be a little floppier than others, but I, I don't I like that. Excuse me. You got the hiccups all of a sudden. Hi, Amy. Let's see. Teresa Aaron. Good morning. And um, so, yeah, so see, you can just trim them like this. <clears throat> and then um, I already matched up a couple of, uh, of the trims to the fabrics that I make the pockets. And Ju I'm glad, Julia, I'm glad you got your cardinal. The, Ju the cardinal one was Julia's. Julia um, requested that one. So, yeah. I could make them a little shorter, but I, I kind of just like them a little floppy like that. So, hi, Bacola. Good to see you. Clear your desk and get your tea. Okay. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to color today. We're going to color in um, Fragile World. I've already picked four, three or four pages to pick from to color in. So we're going to do that. But I just thought while I was sitting here saying good morning to everybody, I would just trim these up. So anyway, um, yeah. But like I said, I had my eye appointment yesterday, got some new glasses ordered. And uh, I think they'll be in, in a, I think they said about two weeks. So and I'm going to show you the fabrics I got from Selena. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Zeely. Yay, coloring. I know some of y'all really like the coloring. It's been a while. I mean, I did do that test with the uh, Crayola markers and pencils last week. But, you know, it was really just a test. It wasn't really coloring a page. It was just testing. So, um, yeah, but we're going to go, we're going to do a full on cut. Now, I don't know if we're going to finish. I'm going to, you know, depending on which page, um, I think I picked one single page and then I have a couple, you know, he has a lot of double page spreads, but whether I finish it on camera, I don't know. But, you know, I always, when I finish them, I always post them on, um, Instagram and usually on Facebook, uh, too. So, Snowing and have retail therapy withdrawal. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, no, I know. I don't know. Um, a lot of people in Texas don't even have power. My mom's power went out for about six hours last night, but she said it came on about, I think it was about 11 o'clock last night. And this morning, as of this morning, it was still on. She said she didn't know. Oh, I got a couple more here. She said she didn't know if it was going to stay on. <laughs> she, it's on right now. So, um, if mom's watching. So let me go ahead and do a couple more since I have a couple more strips cut. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Julie. <laughs> thanks, Julia. Um, let's see. I said how to bony. So yeah, I got a bunch more art cards to show you guys before we get started. But y'all know I come on every uh, Monday and Wednesday at um uh, 9 a.m., but I usually come on about 8.30 so I can say good morning to everybody. I'm going to leave that one kind of flat because it has that little edge to it. I'm going to leave that on there. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, and hopefully y'all enjoy whatever we do that day. <laughs> and um, 
get some inspiration. Okay, let's see. Call you Julie if you want. I didn't know which one, what, what you know, sometimes Julie and Julia's, you know, I try to just go by what y'all say, what y'all name yourselves on the, on the chat line, but sometimes I give you nicknames like, like Boneyard Twitch is Boney. <laughs> Hi, Juanita and Juanita, she spins. They're doing rolling blackouts, which is consuming, considering all the freaking power. <laughs> I know, I know, Juanita, I know. All right, so let's see. So I made, there's there's a few here. And again, I'll just put them in uh, journals and, you know, y'all know, I got a gazillion journals, notebooks. Let me see if I have one up here on the shelf. I can show you with a lot of them in there. Oh, uh, let's see. Does this one have a lot? It has quite a few. Oh, I don't want this to fall. Let's see, and I'll still knock the lamp over. So here's one of my um, one of my uh, notebooks. There, that's what it looks like when you have it full. See, <laughs> and each one of these is a tab to something. So uh, plus, I also number. I number them. So I and I have a content page. So when I do a notebook like this, I have a content page. I have tabs that are numbered, and then I also have decorative uh, rag flags in them. And uh, I've got multiples of these. Society Idea Collectors. Let's see if I can get this back up here without knocking everything over. Come on, guys. I've got some other notebooks up here. I don't really want them bent. Okay, I think that's good. All right. Any more bookshelves? <laughs> All right, so yeah, so I made a few of those while we're sitting here. I'll go ahead and show you my fabrics I got. I got to put these somewhere where the cats aren't going to want to. Oh, right, let me put these up here because the cats are going to want them if they see those. All right, let me fix my chair and my cozy blanket and my nice squeaky chair. All right, so what I got from Selena, here's the whole bag of the Sorry Silk strips that I bought. So. Um, there and that's what I cut off of to make those the ones that you just saw me making. So I got another whole bag of that. Then let's see. Hi, Jerry. So I had a cat and paste. Let's see. Darla, Aaron, Bethany, Ashley. I think I said hi to Ashley. And then um then I did buy a few more of the um the little squares that I make the prayer pouches out of. So I'll just kind of flip through these real quick. So. And I trim them down. You know, some are longer. Some are more rectangle. Some I leave that way. Some I turn sideways. It just depends on, you know, whatever little charm or little something I put on them. But I got some more of these. And then I also got these two, which I bought I bought some trim, which I'll show you the trim here in a second. But I bought some trim, so I've already matched up a couple here with the trim. So like this little fringe trim. Look, see, look how cool that looks together. So like this one. Doesn't that look pretty? <laughs> I know, right? I just love them. And then this one with two little tassels like that. So they're just different sizes, shapes, and, and then none of them are perfect, which is what I like. Because when I stitch them, I don't stitch them perfectly either. I, I, I you know, I uh, purposefully... Um, don't do them real neat because all the stitching on them already is not perfect. And then when I put the backings on them, um, then, you know, to make the pocket, those aren't stitched perfectly either. So they are kind of off. If you, you know what I mean? They're not, they're not uh, like on a sewing machine. So I, I really like those too. Yeah. Hi, Gabriella. I'm warm and safe. Thank you. Hi, my, 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 is that it? My, my, 
Is that an L? Is it Mal? Is it Mal Mal? I thought it looked like an I, but I think it's an L. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to make some more. And um, so what I've been doing is making them for donation, for a donation. But you have to email me and get in contact with me so I kind of, you know, can find a, a good charm for whatever, you know, you, you want on it and stuff like that. So you got to email me. Don't just send me some money and say, here's a donation, make me one. Don't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> email me and let me know that you want one. And no money, don't send me any money till I get them done and sent out. Okay, so that's those. Let me put that together. Then I bought, I did buy one uh, big, large piece of this upholstery fabric uh, just because I like the colors. So I'm, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I like the colors of it. So I don't know if I'll make pouches with it or what I'll do with it. But I just bought this one piece. She has all different kinds of upholstery fabrics you can buy too. And she's now... I don't need any. I mean, I really want to support her in everything she's selling, but she's selling buttons, a hundred of them. Uh, I forget the price now, but she's uh, they're on her Etsy shop as well. And uh, but I have buckets of buckets of buttons, so I just can't buy buttons. I don't need buttons. But if you like buttons, <laughs> Selena's got them. Selena has got them. Let's see. I said hi to Aaron Gabrielle. Uh, I think I said hi to Arlene, Adelia. Okay, so let me show you real quick now the trims, which I've, you know, that's, this is what I cut off those fringes with. So I'm just going to kind of show them to you here. I think it's like, I don't know, what is that? Half yard maybe of each one? I don't know what she's, she probably said exactly how much. I didn't care. <laughs> hi, Kathy Berg. I just bought whatever, you know, so I got this, this one. So they're all just different, you know, trims that I'm going to, you know, that I cut down just little pieces like this to put on the bottoms of the prayer pouches. So, yeah, here's, here's the blue one that I cut some off of. See? With the little fringe. Aren't they pretty? So, and I like the colors because they'll, they'll work with a lot of the different um little you know little squares they'll work with a lot of different little squares here's a nice pretty kind of grayish pinkish gray and then here's a pink one I like the way they almost look like they have a celtic knot to them then here's a rose color of the same one and then again some more of the fringy kind so yeah look at that one so these will go, um, another long fringe one, uh, on, the, on the prayer uh, pouches. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> so I was really happy with those. So thanks, Selena, for putting that order together for me. Let's see. All right. Let me put this in here so the cats don't get it. I have a little carrying tote thing for my fabrics and stuff to keep try to keep the cats at bay um let's see hi some big jerk um so yeah we're gonna color in this today let me i'll quickly show you before we go through the mail which i have a stack of art cards here before we go through the mail hi painty girl um, the pit, I'm going to, I'll flip through this and show you the ones that are tab, you know, I have a tab on are the ones that I have. It's one of those that we're going to color today. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mal, Mal. Yeah. It's M. There we go. What Janet just said. Yeah. Amor Fabrics on Etsy. And she also has a, um, she also has a YouTube channel. And if you follow her, oh, thanks, Pacola. <laughs> Sorry, Janet. <laughs> Pacola Pacola. <laughs> uh, she also has a um, she also has a YouTube channel where she does deals. And she doesn't do it every day. She just calls it deal of the day. But it, she doesn't do it every day. But if you follow her and ring the little bell, get notifications, you'll find when she does have a deal of the day, you will get an extra good price extra good price on those fabrics or trims or buttons 
<laughs> Hi, Michelle. Let's see who else. Candace. Hi, Jane. And I might be repeating some of you. <laughs> I might have already said hi. But I'm trying not to miss anybody. Thanks to all the lurkers. All right. So I'll, let me go ahead before we do the mail. I'll show. I'm going to go ahead and flip through and show you. Uh, this is Kirby Roseanne's new book, Fragile World. Let me get my birthday card out of here. And um, uh, let me show you the birthday card. Hang on. So Gaga Toots wrote me a uh, sent me this birthday card made this card and she put a little thing in here she said this is one of my first inchies so she sent me one of her little inchies which this will go um you know notes and things i try to put in my um fibs book friends in the box book that you know we have the happy planner is turned into a fibs book so she says Dee, Dee happy belated birthday thank you for all your lives and videos and all the useful hints and tips for crafting and coloring i'm a better colorist thanks to you love trudy so thank you gaga so yeah isn't that pretty hi jersey how you doing laura uh sheree uh sheree 10 good morning um, so thank you, Gaga. That will go in my, um, in my, what do you call it? But I do want to make sure, let me put, let me get me a marker here. Gaga Trudy. I try to keep the name of the person that sent me the book, a color book in the book. So that'll go in the back of the book there. Thank you so much. All right, so let me go ahead and flip through it real quick. I did sign my name in the front. <laughs> Hi, Val. Uh, let's see, Debbie, uh, the doodler, Candace. See, I put my name in there. And uh, so we're, I'll just flip through it real quick. And then when we come to the pages that I have marked off, then um, those are the ones that I might, I'm going to choose from. I know. So this one, they're called lemur tree frogs. Lemur tree frog. I looked them up. Well, I mean, he's got all the list of everything in the back. See all the different pages? He has a list of all the animals in the back. So this is a lemur tree frog. So this is one of my choices. I think I'll zoom in one. Hang on. Let's click in one. There we go. And how's that color look? Does that look okay? Does it look too... When I start coloring, I'll try to adjust the color. It looks a little dark because I'm not this nice and tan. <laughs> but it makes this look good, so that's what matters. Okay, so here's lemurs, which I'm not going to do that today because y'all know I love lemurs and I, color, I draw them all the time. So, um, But I'll just flip through the book so y'all can see. It's, it, it's a nice, big, thick book, too. Hi, Ray. How you doing? <clears throat> So I'm, I've got a couple different ones marked. This one I really want to do as well, but I have I didn't mark this one. This was this one I think would take too long. If it was just a single side, I could probably get it done. But a double page with all this fur, I don't know that I could get that done. So these pandas, I'm thinking of these pandas. Although I do like these. What were these called? Let me see. These things that are the black. Um, let's see. Let me go back to the panda because it's right before the panda. Black-footed ferrets. Black-footed ferrets. I love these. I love these little ferrets. I guess because it kind of reminds me of the looks my cats have. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I want, this is a second choice. This one, thanks, Jane. Yeah, thanks, Jane. So this was my second choice. Well, I mean, I have, four, I think, four choices that I, I'm going to decide on. So the pandas. So I like all the pages, obviously. You know, this will be fun to do the water. Because y'all know I use acrylic, watered-down acrylic paint. Because that has a good base for color pencils. So I just want to make sure y'all see all the pages here. Mm. 
Janet used to have ferrets in college. She said they're dirty. Well, most animals, you know, you, you, they're not really house pets, are they? <laughs> like I used to have a raccoon, you know. Oh, this is the other one, the axolotls. Is that how you say it? Axolotls. This was another one I picked because y'all know I love these little guys. <laughs> I, I played around with one of these in my pro Procreate. Uh, I did a little Procreate play with these axolotls, I think it is. I know, right, Bonnie? It's a beautiful book. Yeah. Thank you so much, Trudy Gaga, for sending it to me. So that was the third one. And take the rest of your life. <laughs> Well, I have all of Kirby's books. Look, he has pictures of them back here. He has um, <clears throat> the Anamorphia, Magimorphia, Mythomorphia, Wondermorphia, Colormorphia, Wonders of the World. Um, I think this was an Anamorphia special edition. But, uh, yeah, I've colored in all of these. <laughs> There's videos on all of them. I have a whole color book playlist. Because we were doing, we were coloring like crazy for about two years. We were doing pretty much nothing but coloring. I know they're so derpy looking cute. I know, right, Bethany? They are. Let's see. Hi, Amy. Who else? I'm sure. Yeah, I do too. I like the axolotls. And I know I'm probably not saying that right. <laughs> Everybody always puts it in there in, in phonetics for me because I always say it wrong. But yeah, y'all know I'm talking those little pink salamander guys. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> and then these the pen the what are they called let me see what are they called again too i drew these the i drew these when we did the last time we did the uh uh our animals on the scroll the um what are they called again pangolian pen pangolins pangolins or pangolins anyway the pangolins I drew the, and I don't have it because I gave it, I forgot who I gave that one to, who won that one or who requested that one. I, they've all been sent out. I don't know if anybody got there. I hope they got their animals. I sent them all out. I forgot who won or asked, requested this one, and I mailed it out to them. Uh, so I don't have the original. I might have it on. Let me see if I have it in my pictures. I don't want to take too long because I got so many pictures. Um. I think I kept a picture of it. Let's see. It's before here. Uh, let's see. Where's that little guy? Drew it on the um, art scroll. Uh, it's in here somewhere because I remember taking a picture of it. Uh, here we go. So here's the, let me turn it sideways. I don't remember who got this one. Who got, who, does anybody remember who got this one? But here's the one I drew. <laughs> on the, and it's big. He's big. I mean, he's like this big, right? It's on the art scroll, so it's really big. But um, yeah, so uh, drew and painted him. And they have these little hairs. Um, Kirby didn't put the little hairs in it. I might have to put those little hairs. See those little hairs stick out? <laughs> I might have to put those in. <laughs> so there's that one. Oh, and but I did come across. Hang on. Where is it? Uh, um, okay, I wanted to show this to... Um, what do you call it? Uh, but uh, Bony, look, Bony, I put I I played the I played the card for the cats. I don't have it up here. I'd play it again, but I played the card. The cats meow. They meow. Happy birthday! And so they both came up to it like, okay, what is this? What are, what are these cats you've brought into our home? They got a big kick out of, <laughs> out of, I put it down on the floor and played it. 
and played it for them and they loved it. What did Zelia show you? Uh, oh, she's talking to Janet. So, um, yeah. So let's see here. When I flip it to the, this was a little, it was a, not a video, but it took the, hang on. There's my, all right. Let's see if, watch, watch it. It moves here. See, he's going up and sniffing. <laughs> Yes, a little squeak at the end. I know I didn't want to play the whole birthday song because I don't want to get a, you know, it's all copyright and stuff. So anyway, um, but they love the card. They love the card, uh, Boney. Yeah. So I took pictures of them. They were both up at it together. And uh, I, but by the time I got my phone ready to take the picture, one of them had already gone away. So I, I only got to get the one. <laughs> okay, so that the pangoli what did i say it is again <laughs> oh my gosh pangolins pangolin i'm not sure if i'm saying it right but anyway them so that's the other so those are the four choices that i have i'm kind of leaning toward the tree frogs or the panda but i like all of them <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, they liked it too, Boney. They liked it. So yeah. So thank you, Gaga, for sending this. I'm really excited. I I'm almost started coloring in it this morning early. I got up, I woke up at 3, 3 30. I didn't get out of bed, but I got out of bed like at 4, 4 30. So I said, well, while I'm up, I might as well um, start coloring. I said, no, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> so I really like them. Um, okay, so Julia said that Amazon says the, the book is on pre-order for March. Yeah, um, uh, Gaga sent it to me international. She sent it to me international. So I guess it's going to be available here um, in March. Yeah, Gaga sent it to me, Julia, for my birthday. Uh, international. Yeah. It came out in, in uh, UK a couple weeks ago. I know that I've seen some of the girls have it. I know Samantha got it. Hiya, Sammy got it. But I'm trying not, I try, I know I see them every now and then when I'm when I'm flipping through IG, I'll see a page or two. But I'm trying, I did not want to go see a flip. I did not want to go see a flip of it till I got it myself. And I'm glad I didn't because now I got to enjoy the first flip myself. Although I have seen a couple pages done already. So I'm not sure if I want to do the pandas or if I want to, I, I think I'm going to go with these frogs. I think I'm going to go with the frogs. Okay, so Ashley said you can order it through the uh, book depository for international. I don't know if it'll get here any sooner than you could get it from, you know, waiting on Amazon. I don't know. Okay, so um, color, color Time says um, she ordered it from the book's deposit. Got it yesterday in the U.S., free shipping. Well, there you all go. So if you want to order it from there. Yes, I saw the fruit bat. Oh, no, I didn't see. Did you finish it? Oh, no, I don't know if I saw that. I've been really busy. I haven't had a lot of uh, social media time. So <laughs> let me go over there on IG and look, Gaga. I did, I did uh, you know, message you and tell you I got the book, but let me go see your picture. Did I see it? Looking. Okay. Fruit bat. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. I haven't liked it. I'm liking it right now. So there's Gaga did the fruit bat. Good job. So there's uh, there's Gaga for gluing. <laughs> there's her uh, IG name. Good job. Let me hold it a little further away. There you go. Oh, I like it. Good job. So let's see. Hi, Donna. Hope you're well too, Gabriella. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michelle, two Michelles. Michelle creates Michelle, other Michelle. I know I'm probably missing people coming in. 
All right. So before we color, though, I got I got the cards. I got uh, you know uh, what do you call it? Uh, a couple of uh, collage fodder, and then I also got some art cards in. So let's look at the art cards because I like to show them. This is Kate. Kate the Skate. Um, these are hers. Let me see. You know, the teacher, did y'all go look at Kate's, um, where she bagged up the art supplies for her students? Did y'all see that speed it up? Oh my gosh. You have to see it. If y'all did not go see Kate the Skates. And she's the one also that the collage that I worked on on Monday. So I've got to fin I still got some more collages to finish up, but I'm not going to rush myself. I'm going to enjoy the process. Okay. So here's Kate the Skates backs. And she is Kate the Skate on uh, YouTube and Instagram. And so here's hers. Look how colorful these are. So um, these are Kate's Fantasy Gardens. Let's see. Hi, Melinda. Anybody hedgy? Hi, hedgy. Anybody else I'm missing? <clears throat> so these are so pretty and colorful, Kate. So those are Kate's. I'm trying to keep all the envelopes and everything together. They all go in my bucket over here. All right. I know, aren't they? I know. They are great colors. They are, Kim. Okay, so let's see. This one is from... This one is Trisha Green and Trisha Green. I don't know why <laughs> you're so funny. Yeah, I love them. Okay, so I just saw the, well, I saw two. I, I think the other one's in the bag there, so I have to look because um, I didn't take them out of the plastic bag. Okay, hi, Dee Dee. My first time collaging. Can you believe it? I even got my husband to do his own. We had a lot of fun. He kept laughing when I was telling him, no, that's not how Dee Dee does it. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not how Dee Dee does it. Didn't you pay attention in one video? I don't think he wrote it down. <laughs> Cardinal sin. Thanks for all. And I love this note. Thanks for all the fun smiles and inspiration you give. Love Trisha Green. <laughs> Keep crack a lacking. And there's a real pretty, um, real pretty uh, stationery too. <laughs> Okay, so there's um, the cards are in a plastic bag, so let me take them out now. There's, there's, uh, and I don't know what she was saying the other day. She goes, Oh, don't look at my cards. I don't like them. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know why, because they're awesome. Hang on, let me see. This one's stuck. <laughs> you didn't glue them together accidentally, did you? Uh, I know there's, why is that one? Uh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> two are stuck together i'm sure there's three there yeah there it is okay it's just the edge what happened was is the gold on the edge kind of they kind of stuck okay so here we go wait i gotta turn them around so trisha green our card swap here we go sign them on the back and they're really pretty i don't know why you were worried or whatever look at them <laughs> Here's, there's a little piece right there where that's where it's stuck. So I'll take that little bit off there. There we go. So let's show each one. <laughs> I know they're awesome. So her fantasy garden. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Look at that cat. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> I love them. They're awesome. They're awesome, Trisha. <laughs> I know, right, Lynette? I know. <laughs> so they're they're really good, Trisha. I don't know what you are all worried about because they're really good. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So there we go. So I don't know. Does one are one of these your husband's? Or did you, um, did he have to keep his and, and not let, you didn't send that one? <laughs> oh, the titles on the back? I just saw art cost. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> um yes okay now i didn't see that okay so this one's called cat cat and crane capers <laughs> here i'll let y'all read it <laughs> you're so funny trisha and this was midnight uh, menagerie <laughs> are so funny i love the note and your note your note will go in um the fibs book right now i'm keeping everything together in your original envelopes until i swap everything out okay all right let's go to the next one okay so this one is um let's see Oops, let me get them out of the thing here hang on <clears throat> Why is that one okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so these are Devin Rex. Hang on, I dropped them. These are Devin Rex, who was worried. She was worried that they weren't going to get her because her other stuff got here sooner than this. But they finally got there. I love the backs. Let me, let me see if there's a note here. Hang on. Get it all organized. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so this one's Devin Rex. Hi, Dee. I'm just writing you a quick note as I wanted to get my R cards in the mail ASAP so that they can arrive in time for the swap. Once again, thank you for all the inspiration and joy your streams bring to me and so many others. Your kindness and enthusiasm are so genuine and truly appreciated, especially during these trying times. Thank you again and take care, Yolande. Yo, Lond, Devin Rex. <laughs> P.S. I'm planning to send some happy mail soon. And don't forget, guys, she was also on, uh, Janet and I did a guest stream last Thursday, and Devin was the one um, on that stream. Okay, let me show you these now. Let me turn them off. First, I like to show the backs. So, and she showed all her art journals and everything on that stream. So, look at these. Look how she did them. <laughs> Devin Rex for art. She's, I'm assuming that's her little own hand-carved stamp right there. Little hand-carved um stamp okay so here we go so she has little doors and they open so i'm going to show you each one okay so here we go so here's her little garden her little uh fantasy gardens inside the little door and these doors guys if y'all like these kind of doors um katherine anderson sells them uh she has actually has a whole book of doors so there she is. <laughs> you just woke up. There's Devin right there. See, look, look at her cat stamp right there on her name. <laughs> her little cat stamp. Uh, yeah, just in time. So there's this one. And the planets and everything in the background. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that cool, guys? Bony goes, I love those. Here's this one. So, yeah. So, those are Devin Rex's. Yo, Lon. <laughs> I just like saying Devin Rex. So, that's hers. Uh, which I'm glad they made it, Devin. Okay, let's see who's next. Mm. All right, next we have... Get my little note here. This is from Joy Carter. I think, is it Joy, 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 Joy Carter? But I'm not sure how. Okay. Dee, Dee, thank you for hosting this art card swap. It's been so much fun seeing all the creations, and I had fun making my cards. Thank you for your streams, tutorials, and the encouragement you give to all of us. I love watching your stream. And it's, I'm not sure if it's Joy, it's Joy Carter, but I'm not sure what this is. Is Joy here? I'm not sure if the Joy that's here is this Joy. The Joy that's in the chat, is this you, Joy? <laughs> So here's the little card. 
And these are going to make you guys smile. They're going to make you smile. Just saying. So let me uh, let me show you the backs. It is you. Okay. It's, oh, is, is it Joy Mitchell? Is that what that is? That what that is in the middle? I couldn't tell. Okay. So it is Joy. Okay. So that's the Joy that's here. There she is. Okay. <laughs> these are going to make you smile. Okay. Here we go. Ready? All right. So she signed the backs, dated them. And then here we go. <laughs> ah, look. Don't they just make you smile? Oh, it's Joy M. Carter. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, that's what it is. Joy M. Carter. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kathy. <laughs> look, don't they make you smile? <laughs> Uh, I know, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! But everybody has such has such imagination. Everybody's are so different. That's what's so fun. That's what's so fun about doing um, a swap. You know, uh, <laughs> is because you know they're all so different. Everybody's imagination. I don't know. I just like that. One. <laughs> eyes <laughs> oh so thank you joy and i'll put your card in um in my uh, fibs book at the end of the at the end of the swap <laughs> okay let's see what's next okay <clears throat> all right uh, I, yeah let's see this one is from uh, where's this is, um, I think it's Raquel Garcia. Is it Raquel or is it Rachel? I'm not sure. Let me see. Is it Rachel or Raquel? I think it's Raquel. Raquel? I think it's Raquel. Raquel Garcia. And Raquel sent, sent me 10 bucks in postage money. Thank you, Raquel. And she said, hello, first time making and swapping ATCs. Still peeling varnish off my fingers. Forgot to moisturize before. I now know how I tweak process and supplies. Great fun. Thanks for inspiration. I, I don't see her here now. I saw her. I think she was here on Monday. So let me show you what else she sent. She said, Dee Dee, when I saw these, I knew they had a home. Look what she said. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are stickers. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, Kim, right? It'll be hard to pick which one, but I, whatever one I pick will go in our book. You know, I'm going to make a book of them. <laughs> so thank you for the Grogu. <laughs> and then this, and, and this is just my post office box so I can show you the uh, address, but this was her envelope. Look. I love that little cat. This will have to go. This will have to go in the uh, fibs book too. <laughs> and then she had the little. She had the money in a little in a little card. So thank you so much. All right. So let's get to the cards. Let me flip them backwards so you can see the backs first. Let's get them all. I try to get them facing the right way. So when I flip them, so let's see. Let's get them going this way. Hi, Nashua. Anybody else I'm missing coming in? So this, she decorated the backs. She decorated the backs and signed them on the back. And then look, so here's her guards. And she did varnish them. <laughs> Not that you, you don't have to varnish. Don't anybody feel bad if you didn't varnish your cards. I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't have to varnish your collages. Okay, so here's this one. <laughs> Uh, so, hi, uh, Becky Kalura. I know I'm missing people. Thanks, everybody, for being here. So, yeah, there's this one. Very pretty, Raquel. Love this one. Look, just peeking out. I know, they are. Hi, Maseki. Anybody else popping in I've missed? Hi, Spacey. 
So these are her fantasy garden. Look, there's a little door, a little path, little bunnies. and Just so, so cute. I know, I do too, Deb, and I love the little lady peeking out. Okay, so thank you, Raquel, and I love... <laughs> Oh my gosh, so good, so good. And thank you for um, thank you for some uh, postage money. Uh, no, y'all don't have to do that. For, but you know, I do appreciate it because I I am I am paying for the internationals to go back, so to send them back. So I do appreciate that. Okay, so let's get them back in the little envelope here. Alrighty. All right, got a couple more here. All right, let's see. Okay, this is Karen Merritt. Karen says, hello, Dee Dee. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for having a YouTube show. Enjoying very much. I've learned a lot from um, through the years. Thank you. I enjoyed this first time art card swap, Karen Merritt. And there's so many people. So many people, and she did send some stamps. Thank you, Karen. There's so many people that this is their first time. Um, this is their first time doing a swap. So this is really, let me take them out of the little sleeve here. And, and that just, it makes me feel good that y'all, you know, this is your first time. I mean, I'm saying a lot. Mo I don't say most. But a lot of y'all have done. Oh, there's Raquel. Thank you, Raquel. Your cards are amazing. Thank you so much. And thanks for you know supporting the channel and sending me some postage. I appreciate that. And and the Grogu. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, wait. Let me here. I'll let somebody say thank you. <clears throat> That was thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> All right, so let me get back to the card, too. Sorry, guys. We're out of trail. Okay, so let's go back to Karen Merritt's now. Okay, so here's the backs, Fantasy Garden. And look, she put glitter. There's glitter in it in the back. <laughs> and here's hers. They all have this glitter to them. But, I mean, it's not like it kind of just drops off. It's like incorporated into the, incorporated into it. So, it's a little fancy. Look at those clouds. That looks awesome. So, <laughs> yeah, Gaga. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so these are Karen's. And there's just a little little hint of, you know, the glitter. It just makes it sparkle. And it's not like, I don't know what it is exactly. It's uh, it's not like a, just a sprinkle of glitter. It's just like, I don't know. It looks just, just strategic. Strategic. I know, purdy, right? Purdy. <laughs> I try to catch, I mean, if y'all want to see, everybody compliments these cards so much. If y'all, um, if you're watching the recording, you're not here to see where I, um, when I'm showing your cards, y'all go back and make sure and look at the chat because everybody really uh, compliments the, the cards. Look at the mushroom. Isn't that awesome? So thank you, Karen. So those are Karen's cards. Okay, so let's see. I think a unicorn is been that card with the glitter. Yeah, we know what you mean, Janet. <laughs> we know what you mean, Janet, when you say that a unicorn's been in that garden. <laughs> and I hope you're staying warm. Janet's all out there in Oklahoma. At least she has electricity. Okay, so then let's see what we got here. I got two more here, two more packs of something. All right, so this is from see who's this from hang on oh this is collage fodder okay so this is collage fodder and is it 
is it El Elmeris? I think this is Elmeris. Joanne, Joanne is Elmeris, I'm pretty sure. She wrote this little note. The tiny, oh no, this is from, she cut this from a book. First I thought it was a note, but this is her collage fodder. Have a little, so this goes in the collage fodder stuff. So Joanne, <clears throat> Joanne in, is it UK? Yeah, UK. I think it's Elmeris. Elmeris, and she sent some collage fodder for to do a collage. That's going to be fun. And then some little stuff in here. Hang on. A little envelope full. Yeah, Elmeris. Yeah, Elmeris. <clears throat> I haven't seen her this morning. Okay, so she sent all kinds of little... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have to use him. <laughs> so cute. Let's see what else we got here. Some little paper strips. She had all this in the little envelope. Look at this. Look at this butterfly. And look at this. And this little guy here. He's going to have to go. There we go. See, I'm already I'm already getting ideas here. <laughs> little butterfly. I mean, another little bird. Little butterfly wing here. I mean, there's just so much you can do with it. <laughs> this will be fun. Dragonfly and some uh, math equations on a like a piece of vellum type thing. No, I think that's a sticker. It's actually a sticker. That is a sticker. Ooh, a sticker of, um, see, now that'll have to go behind him. This will go like this. This will go, whoops. This can go on the sticker like this, like this. Where'd the little guy go? Here, this. See, we're, we're already getting it laid out here. <laughs> So, so fun. Thank you, Elmeris. That's going to be fun. That is going to be fun. All right. So let me get all this together. Put all those little butterflies and dragonflies in there. Put a paper clip. Oh, there's a flower. She did have a paper clip here. I don't know what I did with it. It was right here. I'll have to put a paper clip on all this. Oh, it's Denise. Hang on. I guess my daughter forgot after 10 years that I stream on Wednesday. <laughs> Hello. Hang on. I can't. All right, I'm gonna, you're on, you're going to be on stream. You're, I'm on. You're on speakerphone and you're live. Hi. It's stream day. It's Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. I know. She just got back. Well, she had a little trip. <laughs> Vegas baby. <laughs> He's Vegas baby. So, um, are you coming over today? You want me to? You, well, no. You just got, you bought, you probably don't feel like it. You just got home. But it's going to be raining tomorrow. And, you know, I get, we can come up on the weekend. I wanted to give Boo her all those uh, clothes and jackets that I got for her to alter. Yeah. And I did get her a big, uh, what do you call it? Uh, pin board. You know, I got her one of those. Ooh. I, I wish my tires so bad. Oh, well, your dad. My tires are bald. Your daddy right said he'd buy you some new tires. Well, today. Well, he probably could, <laughs> but you, but you can't get get them put on before you get down here. <laughs> well, um, yeah. I mean, I, I'm happy to come down there. No, you yeah. know. Um, I'm actually going to the grocery store. I'm about to go to the house and then go to the grocery store um, and just wash clothes and stuff. Okay, well, you go do all that because you've been gone for four days, so you go do I'm all that. I'm trying to get an eye appointment. My gosh, you would think that I was. I, I, got, I went yesterday. It took me a month. I had took a month. I had to do a month ahead to get an eye appointment. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, uh, up. yeah. One lady says to me, Ooh, yeah, okay, I can squeeze you in. And I'm going, Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, March the 28th. March 28th. <laughs> what? No. Well, can they? You can still get your contacts ordered, can't you? No. Oh. 
Well, you better tell him. Did you tell him it was an emergency that you had to have contacts? <laughs> or at least to renew your prescription, uh, you know, temporarily. Hang on, people. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'll call you. I'll call you later. Thanks for calling, Jack. Did you check on your grandmother? Does she still have electricity? It, it's fine. She's alright. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Yeah, I hadn't talked to Denise in four days, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay, one more envelope. <clears throat> one more envelope, and I'm not sure if this is. Um, I think this is, I don't know. This is from Arlene. I haven't seen our, oh, there she is. I was just going to say, I haven't seen Arlene, but there she is. So Arlene, I'm seeing a bunch of collage stuff. I don't know if you got art cards in here or not. Did you send art cards, Arlene? Or just collage stuff, which is fine. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just, I'm going to dig through. <laughs> okay. So she says, I was de-stashing and decided to send you some. I hope you can get some planets or something out. <laughs> you know, I will, um, of these little bits. Thanks, Arlene. Happy crafting. No art cards. Okay. Well, let me show you the, uh, let me show you the, um, collage fodder she sent, which I will make a collage out of. We'll get to them eventually. You know, I love this. Look at this. That's very cool. That's very cool. Arlene. <laughs> okay that's fine i just wasn't sure because there was you know envelopes and stuff in here so all just all different kinds of stuff all kinds of stuff i love this the verse <clears throat> so peaceful looks like a, a little hobbit house and the and the bug um Beetle, beetle paper. Who am I missing? Let's see, Carla. Are you all right, Carla? I'm seeing people say. Yeah, I know. My mom lives out there, too. Yeah, Carla. My mom's electricity went out for six hours last night. It came back on this morning in Texas. And a Blade Artistic Biker, he was out, I think he was out for like a full 24 hours. He's in, he's in the Houston area. And his came back on overnight. I saw that on Facebook. So, yeah, all y'all that are in Texas, bundle up, charge. If, uh, and this, if you don't have a phone, a charger for your car, you know, for your phone, everybody needs a phone charger for their car. <clears throat> So, yeah. So you can keep your phone. Mom, mom went out and charged her phone on in the car one time overnight. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're books. Vintage books. That's so cool. I love this. I love that, Arlene. The, the vintage books. You picked all kinds of good stuff here. Birds. Lots of birds. Arlene likes birds. I can gather that. <laughs> um, butterflies cruise ship some little for, um, like a, out of a, a planner a little another like calendar verse um, just so much different calendar pages so much fun stuff Arlene an envelope. Here's some little things. Let's see what she's got in here. Don't y'all love seeing little little treasures like this? Now you have a full-time job doing collage. Well, I already had a full-time job doing collage because I love collages. They'll just have to, you know, I'll do them as I can, you know. All kinds of, let me kind of lay this out. Look at all the little planets. <laughs> little planets, Arlene. So cute. Just little, little paisleys. Look at all the little fun stuff. Little fun stuff. <clears throat> oh, oh, I love doing collages. But, you know, again, it's it's as I go, as I have time in between my commissions and, and streaming. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> a little fuzzy cut, and a little Saturn. Oh, so fun. Thank you, Arlene. Here's some, like, jelly-plated jelly papers. Another jelly-plated paper. 
another calendar page awesome awesome some Hebrew on it <clears throat> awesome little, little room setting some more little painty papers another little verse the joy of the Lord is your strength Nehemiah and these are some like the steampunk tags <clears throat> very cool some more steampunk tags here's some uh, tickets old um, concert tickets let's see how many of these people have I seen I've seen Kansas Crosby so Nash young foreigner Aerosmith who else Bob Seeger I don't remember if I've seen Sticks. Almond Brothers, seen them. Who else? Who else have I seen? I'm trying to read some of them. Mm. I actually made a list one. I haven't seen, I don't think I saw Linda Ronstadt. Doobie Brothers, seen them a couple times. Um, Bob Seeger, Rush. Fleetwood Mac. No, I don't think I ever saw Fleetwood Mac. But I've been to a lot of concerts. A lot of concerts. <laughs> back in Texas, back when I was growing up, they had, they'll, they'd have two, you know, famous concerts, what we would think of as famous now. But back then in the early 70s, mid 70s, oh my gosh, you'd have two concerts a week. You had concerts every weekend. I mean, just tons. Hi, Abigail. Mm. Yes, memories. Memories. Stars. Thank you so much. Thank you, Arlene, for all this. We're gonna we'll make something out of this, and I will keep your note for uh, the Fibs book. So let's put this in the envelope for now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. I liked, uh, you know, I mean, back then there was, you know, Humble Pie and Rod Stewart and Black Sabbath. And I don't even know. I'd have to get out my list. I mean, trust me, there was tons. Okay, so she sent me a nice little envelope. This will go with the collage pile. That's separate from the art card pile. Okay, so let me take a quick break, BRB, and then we're going to get to coloring. Okay. So, and I love my papers. I love my papers, Trisha. I love uh, swapping those out. I'll be right back, guys. All right, now it's time to color. I'm sure, my hands are dry. There's that little paper clip. All right. Well, I don't go to concerts. <laughs> I don't go to concerts anymore. My gosh, I can't barely go to a movies anymore. Movies are so loud. I mean, like deafening loud movies. I have to wear earbuds when I go to movies. I'm not kidding. The movies are so loud. So, uh, yeah, I don't go to movies anymore. <laughs> I don't go to concerts either. Okay, but, uh, yes, in my youth. <laughs> in my youth. <laughs> okay. Well, hello, Angela from London. Welcome. Who I know I'm missing people coming in. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay. 
let's work on this. How about it? Um, I did look them up because they had these little dots on them, and I wanted to see what colors. These are called the lemur. Let's see. Lemur. Lemur leaf frogs. And he's got a little write-up about each one. Because remember, these are uh, endangered animals. So let's read about the lemur leaf frogs. Let me go to my... Let me find a picture of one. Where's the picture? I have a picture picked, I thought. Because um, they, they're very bright lime green. And they're spotty. So, okay. <clears throat> Lemur leaf frogs are found in Costa Rica, Panama, and Colombia. These frogs are nocturnal animals with skin designed for camouflage, alterna alternating between bright green in the day and reddish brown at night. As predators and prey, they play an important role in the food chain, and even as tadpoles, they help to keep the water clean by feeding on algae. Their population has fallen by half in the last 15 years due to habitat loss, and deadly fungal disease. However, a special breeding program is helping to re reintroduce these frogs back into the wild and increase their numbers. So that's the lemur leaf frogs. And again, I'm coloring in Fragile World by Kirby Rosans, and Gaga um, sent this to me uh, for my birthday. Hang on, something in my eye. Hang on, guys. Sent this for, to me for my birthday, and I did a flip of it a minute ago. Well, right before I showed the art cards, I did a flip of it. Yeah, uh, reddish brown at night, Sherry Bug, yeah. But we're going to go with the green. We're going with the lime green, bright green. So y'all know I like to use, now, if you use markers, you can't, you, I can use super tips, but you can't use like Copics or, or alcohol markers. They'll go right through. Super tips I found, unless, unless you just go, you know, they're good. You can use super tips and they won't go through. <coughs> Water-based soup, Crayola super tips, like these. Um, and also paint, which y'all know I love to use paint because the, the paint, lime paint, the paint gives it a nice tooth for you to do color pencils, which I do have my color pencils here. Um, I'm using the ones in my case, my Prismacolors in my case, because I tipped over my, as Denise calls them, crap pencils that are in the, in the, uh, <laughs> silverware tray uh, when I vacuumed over the weekend. So they are completely out of, um, they're not like the blues and greens, the reds and oranges. And, you know, I had them all broken out by color. Now they're just all thrown in here because I fell over when I was vacuuming. And so I need to redo this tray. Now, y'all be nice or I'm going to make y'all watch me sort them all and we'll do an ASMR. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? We'll do an ASMR. Hi, Uncle Dan. And we'll separate all the pencils. One by one. One, one by one. <laughs> I'm not going to make y'all do that. Okay, so. So, and, and so instead, I got out my uh, spare set <laughs> that's in the, that's in the, uh, in the uh, uh, case, and we're going to, I'll have those handy. <laughs> uh, oh, I do too. I like, to, I don't mind the sorting. All right. So I'm going to pull out some uh, different greens here. I've got my lime green, and we're going to go with the nice... Uh, here's a moss green, I believe. Hauser green medium. We're going to get a nice dark green. This is a uh, black forest green. And uh, I'm not sure if these uh, are those water lilies. I'm not sure if those are water lilies. I have to decide what I want the background to be. Do I want the background to be a nice bright turquoise or do I want it to be black? Because if I do the background like really dark and like, but if I did it black, you'd think it was night. Then they would be, they would, should be reddish color because that's what they look like at night. So I'm thinking maybe the background should be a bright blue green. Like maybe, and that might be too dark. 
I'm thinking with these, you know. Do I want it to be, I think I want it to go with this color. Although I love this color, but that may be too dark with the leaves and the frog. No, no. Maybe I will go with that. And then, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Crank up the ZZ top. <laughs> I could, but then I'd get a copyright strike. <laughs> Uncle Ben. I mean, uh, Uncle Ben, Uncle Dan, Uncle Dan, I'd get a copyright strike. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with the dark green blue for the background. I tower. Uh, did I miss time for the pencil sorting? Yeah, you missed the pencil. No, I'm not going to do the pencil sorting on here. I won't make y'all watch that. <laughs> it needs to be done, but I'm not going to make y'all watch it. Okay, so I'm going to start with, and I have to also decide, I have to also decide, let me turn off my colors there, move this. Um, if this is a watch, let me look, where's my phone? Let me see. Let me look up, uh, let me just look up tree, um, tree, frog, water lilies. Let me see. Oh, they're pink and pearl. Oh, they're bright colors. Bright colors. All right. They're pink, purple. I guess I could do them any color, although I really like that. I like that pink. That pink like that, that would be pretty, won't it? With um, with uh, that green. So let me save that. Let's see what else we have here. Um, um, and I guess, do I need to look up water lily fronds or what are those called? Po pods? Fronds? Pods? Let me see. Water lily fronds? Let's try that. No, not fronds. Fro fronds. <laughs> Oh, hi, Antoinaga. Nanny, Nanny, and Delanaga. Welcome. Delanaga's awesome. Okay, let's see. Um, images. Hmm. See, there's all colors of the, there's all colors of the, uh, uh, what do you call it? You know, lilies. But I'm going to go with the fuchsia ones. But I want to find... I guess, I don't know if they're called pods, or I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, do you, there are different flag, type of flower all together? Okay, well, I'm going to use, I'm going with a fuchsia. But I want something, I don't know what color these, you know, those, like, just the outer shell, like, the, are they green? Like, is this those before they bud? Uh, would they be called buds? Let's see. Here's some yellow ones. See, we got these. Calla lilies? These are calla lilies? Or these are calla lilies? Oh, it's a different... Oh, I see what you're saying. This is a different flower from that. Okay, calla lilies. All right, let me look that up. Hang on. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, then somebody tell me what this is. <laughs> What's this one then? If this is calla lilies, that's just a water lily. Let's see. Calla lilies. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Those. Oh, but there's also orange ones. Let's go back. Look, they have orange ones of all different colors. So I guess I could color them any color because look, they're every, they come in every color. So the calla lilies could be in any color. Let's see. I'll just take a picture of the ones that they have pink, yellow, and, and white. They have different colors, though. Okay. All right. So let's see. Now, now. Oh, and they have red ones, too. Oh, and purple. Look, they must they must just grow. I mean, um, make them, you know, inner. How do, what do they call it when they cross-breed? Cross Free, cross pollinate when they cross pollinate these flowers. Um, 
cross pollinate yeah they do come in a lot of colors so since i'm going with the pink and green maybe i should go with some purple the purple ones okay let me take a picture of that okay now i gotta get all my reference materials together <laughs> Yes, Devin, I'm the boss of my flowers. But I'm just, you know, I guess I'm, I don't know. I just wanted to do it because Kirby, Kirby went to all the trouble for these uh, endangered species. I want to put them in their correct environment. <laughs> okay, now what's this? What are these? They look like artichokes. What are these? Are those, uh, are those some kind of lilies too? I mean, they're like a pod-like thing. The leaves, I'm going to do like the colors of the of the uh, frogs. I'm going to do them lime green, bright green. But I'm not sure what that is. Does anybody, where's, uh, where's Kathy Arbor? Where's Kathy Arbor? These are closed water lilies? All right, let's go back to the water lilies. Where's Kathy Arbor when I need her? <laughs> Uh, let's see, images, okay, all right, I'm trying to find some that are closed, they're all open, uh, all right, let me put in closed, all right, let's just see if what comes up with that. Mm, sort of. I see some that are kind of, you know, sort of open and closed. Okay, here we go. Look at that one. So I guess I can do them whatever color I want to, because if these are going to be pink, I'll probably make those pink as well. All right. All right let me take a picture of that. All right, we're on it. <laughs> all right, we're on it. Okay, so but first, before, I don't know why I made such a big deal about all that, because first we got to do the background. So let me grab my, let me go around, bring my bucket of brushes around here. <clears throat> They're behind my light, and I couldn't reach them. All right, let's see. Let's see. Which one is speaking to me today? I love, my favorite brushes are angle brushes because they're so versatile. You can do so much with an angle brush. So I think I'm going to pick this one right now. All right, so we're going to start with the background. Let me get a piece of paper to put behind here. Let's just get a piece of something. Just some kind of paper because I'm going to go right up to the edge. Right. All right. Do I have any questions? Put it in caps because I'm going to start. The background's going to be this color mermaid tail. Mermaid tail. It's a dark, it's a dark um, blue, like a bluegrass green color. All right. So oh, let me go ahead and zoom in. Let's see. I'll try to stay in camera let's see i'll try to stay in the because i'll have to move the book around hi little sister cheryl question are you using water these are acrylics gracie they're acrylics americana deco art acrylics waterproof so once you know once they're dry they're waterproof and um when i do backgrounds i do a solid background okay I do a solid background. Sometimes some colors like red, lime, um, some colors, I might need to get a pointy brush for in a little. They might need two coats, but pretty much you can do it with one coat. But I'm going to have to get in here real tight. This one's, this brush is too floppy. I need a smaller, shorter bristle. Let's see. Need a shorter bristle that's not too floppy. Nope. 
No, I'm digging. I know I got some little ones in here somewhere. Let's see. Maybe. Let's try that. And, you know, sometimes it behooves you to do the background first, sometimes the background last, um, because if you do the background last, then you can, like, when you're coloring these other things, you can just go right out of line, especially if you're, going, if you're doing a black background, you can go right out of line. It doesn't matter because... Um, you're going to paint over it, right? Let me, let me see if I can find, which book was it in? Uh, which Kirby? Uh, World of the Worlds, I think. Yeah. I'll show you my, okay. So here's, um, this is the World Within Worlds. And here's my um, shoes. Let me move this. These were my... Uh, shoe pages and so the background I painted a light blue but I painted the clouds in there oh thanks Devin yeah I have a playlist of lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of color book pages so you can do backgrounds all different kinds but this is acrylic paint it's base coated with acrylic paint and then gone over gone over with pencil okay gone back over with pencil what else do I have in this book do I have anything else done I know I've started a couple pages I did this dragon eye this one and this one I'm still working on the dinosaur so you can see see look this is what it looks like when you have the first initial wash so when you just have a wash of, and when I say wash, I mean watered down acrylic paint. So this is just watered down acrylic paint. So it looks like this when you start, okay? Looks like this when you start. But then you go in here with pencil and Posca and other things and look at the shading, see? So it goes from this to this with pencil and Posca and shading, okay? Bye, Arlene. Thank you again for sending collage fodder. Okay, so let's go. See, look, I already messed that up. Let me, I got paint on my hands. Hang on. It doesn't matter because I go over it, but let's try to keep the old hands clean. <laughs> All right, so let's go back in here now. And um, I got to keep moving around. So it doesn't, uh, I don't want this to go behind. So let's try to be neat. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't know if I'll do all the background. We'll see how fast I can do it. But, and if also, if you have a, a round brush, if you roll it, if you roll your brush in the paint, you'll have a better point. This one's still a little on the floppy side. I like my brushes to be a, a little shorter so that they um, have a little bit of stiffer bristles. Um, and uh, you can have a little bit more control in those tight areas. But I, I do so much um, pencil work on top that if I go over the lines or go out of lines or whatever, by the time I get to the pencil, I'm telling you, it's, it's, you're really, it's not going to matter. So don't be so fussy that it takes you weeks to do a paint. <laughs> That's just me. You take as long as you want. But I'm not so fussy that it takes me weeks to do a page because there's too many pages that, you know, you want to get done. And I do have color book flips in my playlist, color book playlist. Well, in my playlist, there's color books. And then in the color books, there's playlists. So you can see somewhere I've done lots of, uh, did I say playlist twice? I mean, in the playlist, there's color book flips, paint where I flip through a lot of the color books. 
maybe one of these days I'll do an updated one because I'm going to have to move my color books into another shelving. <laughs> I'm going to have to rearrange again and I'm running out of book room. Book room. So um, if I move all my color books, that's the time for me to do a color book flip is when they're, um, I don't know if I have that picture. Let me look at chat for a minute while I'm flipping here real quick. I don't know if I saved that picture. I don't know if I posted it on IG or not. <clears throat> Devin said, paint the background takes me forever. I think I need better brushes too. Yeah, the brushes do matter, you know. Okay, let me see how far back do I need to go. I'm not sure. And for some reason, my IG doesn't flip very quick. Let's see. Hang on, guys. I think it was before. Had to be last year. Let me see if I can get back to last year. And I'm I'm glancing at chat at the same time as I'm flipping. As I'm flipping through my IG. Dee Dee, do you use Arteza brush pencils? Um, brush pencils? I'm not sure. Brush. Oh, brush pens. Um. Do I have the Arteza brush pens? Yeah, I do. I have them. Let me see. Um, yeah, hang on. I think these are the Arteza ones. <clears throat> yeah. These? The, the water-based? <laughs> yeah, I use water-based. Uh, I, use, I use these and uh, the real brush, the Kurataki real brush ones. Um, but you have to remember they're water base. When you use water base, you got to think about what you're <clears throat> layering up. Okay, here we go. So, <laughs> so this one now I have way more color books than these, but um, look, <laughs> I'm wearing wolfy and my big wolf hands, but I'm that I'm behind. I'm behind my color books. <laughs> so there's there's some of my color books right there. It's not all of them, but it's a bulk of my color books. <laughs> and then here is Denise took a picture of me laying in the color books. So there there I am. I'm got I got my wolfy got my whoops, let's see here. I got my wolfy hat on. It's not real wolf, it's a faux wolf. Don't anybody email me. So here I am lying in the, in the monkst of my color books. Denise, Denise took that picture. <laughs> uh, uh, you like the mysterious wolfy picture? Yeah. Um, yeah. I have another one. This, these are my color books. I have another one like this, but I'm in my uh, library with other books. But I don't know where that one is right now. That was just my color book. So, yeah. <laughs> Yes, exactly, Devin. Whoops, where'd it go? There it goes. In my natural habitat. <laughs> yeah, don't email me on the wolf. It's not real wolf. Well, I got to say, let me clean my brush now. Let it get hard. Um, Hubster will not walk next to me when I'm wearing wolfy. He thinks I'm a little too old to be wearing wolfy in public. He doesn't care if I wear it in here. <laughs> but definitely, I'll, I'll show you this too. I haven't worn this yet anywhere, really. But I got this to wear. I should have put this on when I did my birthday stream. <laughs> Next time I'm going to do a face-to-face, -face, I'll wear my llama. Look, it's a llama hat. <laughs> Next time I'll wear my llama. <laughs> Look, it's got ears and everything. <laughs> I'll wear I'll wear that next time. Okay. All right, let's get back to the coloring. <laughs> oh. All right, let me go ahead and get all the edges done because then I can move that paper from the back for a minute. I just have it on the edge so that I, when I go, I can just paint right off the edge. Mm 
But yeah, you gotta, you gotta have fun. You know, gotta have some fun. Hubster's fun though. He has a dry, he has the dry sense of humor. I've told y'all some of the stories about going out with Hubster. He's a character. Like, uh, I know, and I know y'all, if y'all been around, y'all have heard these stories before, but you know, I've been doing this 10 years. So if you've been around, you've heard my stories. Oh my God. Let's see. She says, uh, yeah, he saw how he tried to leave you behind when you were tree shopping. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I have that video. Let me see if I have that video on my phone. Exactly. Juanita. Let me go back to Christmas. Hang on. Okay. Here we go here. Yeah. So Juanita goes, <laughs> we saw how he tried to leave you behind. You were shopping with the child. Look, here we go. All right. We're at the tree farm. Oh, well, come on, go. Why isn't it going? Ah, it shut off. Hang on. Let me get back to my Instagram. I don't know why it turned off. Hang on. Here we go. We're shopping at the tree farm. Like, uh, first off, here, this was me with Wolfie. This was at the tree farm. I had Wolfie and Grogu the child. There I go. I took him with me to the tree farm. <laughs> took him to the tree farm, right? Okay. So, here, this is just like 30 seconds. Tree farm. That's going to again. And I always forget about the Every year, other than Hester, always bring your friends. So, who did I bring this year? Hey, hey. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a couple videos where a Grogu fell off the fell off the cart. He was riding on the tree and he fell off. I got video of that too. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> oh, it was fun. So anyway, I'm getting there. I'm I'm getting some background put in here, guys, in between the, the, the chat here. Oh, I was gonna work on the edges. Here, let's get the edges done. And I do put the paint on kind of thick because I have a heat gun so I can dry it. But sometimes, like I said, sometimes it might take two coats depending on the color. Hi, Nettie. <laughs> Joy. All right. So now, now because I have paint, wet paint right on that paper, you don't want to just slide that down because then you'll get it on the back here. So you want to be careful with that when you, you know, move a paper around the edge that you don't just slide that paper that's got wet paint on it up under there because you'll get it on the back page. So I'm just trying to get all the edges done real quick here. We'll make some progress. We'll make some progress in the next, I don't know, hour and a half. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for being here. Oh, so anyway, one of the stories I was going to say about Hubster there's more than one of these, but I'll tell this one again. <laughs> when, uh, you know, when you used to go to the movies, they would have, um, you know, arcade rooms. I guess they still do, but not like they used to. They'd have huge arcade rooms of, uh, you know, Ms. Pac-Man, Tetris, you know, all the different, you know, all the, all the games that kind of went by the wayside when everybody had computers and could just play computer, you know, play on the computer instead of at the arcade. And uh, hi, Apollo. Um, who else? Dr. Artist. I should wear the llama. Julie said I should wear the llama hat and Hubster should wear wolfy hat and, and chase you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would be so funny. Oh my gosh, I would love to do that. I would do it too. I'd do it at the tree farm. I wouldn't do it like, I don't know. I wouldn't do it like in downtown or something. <laughs> because I don't know, somebody might think he was really trying to hurt me or something. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to leave that impression. So anyway, um, we uh we were at the arc we were at the arcade in the theater waiting to go see the movie. 
and this is the kind of things he we he would do this all the time when we used to go out more. You know, now we just don't go out. Well, of course, this year, you know, but even before that, we you know we we're just not uh, social butterflies. He and I. So um, anyway, uh, let's see. All right, now let me let me take this out and turn it to go down here at the bottom because I want to get these edges. So we were at the we were at the uh, arcade, and I used to love to play Ms. Pac Man. I was really good at it too. I mean, I, my name was on those those machines. I could get my I could get my name on those machines pretty easy on Ms. Pac Man. He played something else. I forgot. But anyway, he was on playing something, and I was playing Miss Pac Man, and I, you know, ran out of quarters. And his, you know, his nickname is Buddy. He's Buddy Jr. His, his, his in a line of buddies, you know, Buddy, Buddy Junior. So anyway, his nickname is Buddy. And uh, <laughs> so I ran out of quarters. So I went across the room over to him while he was just playing his game, you know, moving the joystick around, playing his game. And I have a loud voice. Y'all know I talk loud. I admit it. I talk loud. <laughs> and so I went up to him in this end of the room is, you know, it's all hopping and buzzing and ding, ding. You know, it's a lot of activity going on. So you have to talk loud anyway. So I went, hey, bud, you got a quarter? Like that. And he looked at me and calm as can be. And he just looked over his shoulder at me and went, I beg your pardon and turned right around and kept playing his game. And everybody looked at me like, oh, that poor girl. She doesn't even have a quarter. <laughs> so it was pretty good. It was pretty good. But that kind of thing, he would he does that kind of stuff. And uh, of course, it makes me laugh. I mean, I don't, I don't get embarrassed easy. I guess he just knows that I don't get embarrassed easy, so he can pull that kind of stuff on me, and I just laugh. <laughs> but anyway, those are the kind of things that he does. Okay, let's get these edges in so I can move this paper out of the way. I want to, I'll get to the frogs today and uh, we'll at least paint and shade the frogs. All right. We'll at least get that done. But I just kind of want to show y'all, you know, different stages. Okay. So I've gone all the way around the edge now of the page. Any place that I need to, so I can move this paper out of my way. <laughs> oh. See, hi Nichols. I need to clean my brush every now and then. Your brush is going to start; the paint will start to dry, so you need to clean it so that you can, you know, maintain a good point on your brush because the paint will start crusting up. So you need to clean it every now and then. All right, so I'm just going to keep. I'm going to keep. No, make sure. Let me hit. Let me hit this with the heat gun down here, so I can rest my arm down here. Without my sleeve getting in it. <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to feel to say my first concert. You don't want to say your first concert, Tori? Why not? Come on now. You said that. Now you know you have to say it now. You when you say I, I'm not gonna say it, then everybody wants you to say it. So say it. <laughs> Okay, Nichols' first concert was Kiss. I think, um, I don't know what my very first concert was. It was probably something like Doobie Brothers, Three Dog Night, something like that. Like probably 19, probably 1970 was my first concert. Probably 1970. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, gonna guess per, somewhere around 1970 okay so let's see yeah i know right gaga now we want to know say it actually <laughs> say it <laughs> oh 
shadow shadow i don't even know who that is am i that old i don't even know who is that who i don't even know who that is Schwadi wadi i i'm so i mean i'm ter i'm that is it terrible that i don't even know who that is does that make me really old if i don't know who Schwadi wadi is seriously i don't think i've ever heard of that how old are you tori are you like 16? <laughs> I don't know how old. I don't know how Tori is. It's an old band. Okay. I've never heard of it. Um, it's an old band. Donna said, oh, in 1970, I was one years old. <laughs> Rain said hers was, first one was, um, Billy Joel. Oh, Gaga said it was a 70s band. Okay. Well, I never heard of it. You know, I, I don't know. Was it a more of a European band? I know Tori's uh, overseas, but I don't know. But I had a crush on, um, oh, what now? I can't think of his name. In Humble Pie. He was, he was killed in a, in a fire. But, um, oh, what was his name? Oh, somebody, one of y'all know. He is English, you know, British. What was it? Steve Marriott. Steve Marriott from Humble Pie. I had a crush on Steve Marriott. Yeah, I had a crush on Steve Marriott. <laughs> Dr. Artist, I'm 21 plus. I'm 21 plus too, Dr. Artist. <laughs> Maybe a local band? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've ever, sorry. I don't, I'm just, you know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Humble Pie, loved Humble Pie and Steve Marriott. You know, that's where, uh, what you call it, got to start with Steve Marriott. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, see, I'm not, the, I'm, not, I'm not in band mode right now. He went on to do, um, have his own band, Peter Frampton. Peter Frampton uh, was with Humble Pie when I knew Humble Pie. I love Peter Frampton, too. I don't want to play too much of a song because y'all, you know, you can't do that. But let's see if I can. I don't want to. Well, maybe I better not because um, y'all go look it up yourself. You can go listen to it for free. Let me go to my music here. Hang on. Um, Peter Frampton. Um, I love this song. I can listen to it all day. Show me the way. Go look up Peter Frampton. Show me the way. I don't want to play even a smidgen of it because I don't want I don't want to do all this color book work and have this video copyright strike. So go look. Show me the way with Peter Frampton, and you you know you can listen to it for free for you know, just play it. But I have it in my playlist. Okay, Donna. Thank you for being here. I'm just kind of taking my time, guys. If I could, I could be going a little faster in Russian, but I'm kind of taking my time. I we will do a little bit more of this background. Then we're going to get to the tree frogs. <laughs> Thank you, Boney. Yeah, Boney was putting it at the same time I was looking it up. Yeah, but humble pie. Back when, uh, I think in my concert box, I have a box of old concert tickets and stuff. I think I still have Steve Marriott's towel that he wiped his face off with and threw it at us. You know, like don't doesn't doesn't everybody want a sweaty towel from a band member? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, raise your hand if you have a sweaty something from a band member. <laughs> Uh, 
Then, of course, I love Rod, the young Rod Stewart, you know, Rod Stewart of the 70s. Love the, I love the 70s Rod Stewart. <laughs> Jane, ew! Yeah, he is. He, you still see him on, uh, Peter Frampton still does, a con you still see concerts of Peter Frampton on, uh, on TV, you know, specials, yeah. Hi, Louise. Okay, so Louise said, I think that band name is spelled Sh Show Waddy Waddy. They were a cheesy rock and roll band from England. I never heard of them. Yeah, I went to a lot of heavy metal concerts. Too. <laughs> well, what was considered heavy metal in the day, you know. Uh, oh, a bottle hit you? We had a lot of outdoor concerts, you know, being in Texas. We had a lot of outdoor concerts. I mean, we had a lot of indoor concerts too, but we had lots of like mini Woodstocks, you know what I mean? Mini, you know, a lot of outdoor concerts back in the 70s, 60s and 70s. But, uh, you know, that's the ones I went to in the 70s. Yeah, sorry. I don't know that band. So I haven't talked to Janet about doing, we went, we had talked about doing a, oh, wait, let's see. I guess if we did it, hmm, let's think about Hubster has an appointment tomorrow. I was thinking about uh, doing, uh, we, were, we had talked about doing our journaling by five tomorrow, but I think Hubster has an appointment he has to go to, so I don't think I'll be able to do it tomorrow. Maybe next Thursday, Janet. I haven't seen Janet talk for a while, so. <laughs> but anyway, maybe not not tomorrow, but the next next Thursday, maybe we can do the journaling by five, Janet. Janet and I were going to do a journaling by five show, on um, instead of a Thursday guest show, we were just going to be each other's guest, <laughs> and do a journaling by five. There she is. Let's wait a week. Yeah, yeah. Next week. Maybe next week. Yeah, because I, I forgot Hubster has an appointment. And Janet's still, they're still all froze in down in Oklahoma. I don't even know if she can get out of her house because the doors might be frozen shut. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad, y'all. Janet's okay. <laughs> I don't know if somebody might take it serious. Hi, Lucy. All right, so I think I might go ahead and stop on the background, although I hate to waste this paint because um, I want to do the frogs. Let's see. I'll work on this for about mm, five more minutes. Let's see how far I can get on the background in five more minutes. Okay, my brush is starting, the paint starting to harden around the edge, so I need to clean it again. When you just sit here using one color for so long, Okay, let's see if I can skedaddle here. Well, not skedaddle, that means leave. Let's uh, not lollygag. Yeah, so all you guys down in Texas or any place else, your electricity is out. Yeah. Mom's was out half the night, came back on the middle of the night, though, so she was okay. But <clears throat> if you don't have a, a, a phone charger for your car, then you really should have one. So you could always at least have your phone charged up, you know, if your electricity goes out. We have a gas stove, so we have that going for us. But um, uh, from her Ashley, <laughs> too thick. Oh my gosh! See, look, everybody is going to be talking about there. Yes, that counts, Ashley. That counts. No, it does not bleed through, Julia. No, it does not bleed through at all. 
what makes um, what makes uh, paint bleed through a color book? Unless it's really like sometimes the create space, the real, real thin, like copy paper thin books. Um, something might go through on that. But what makes it bleed through is the water. It's not the paint. Like I have no water in this paint at all. But even when I water down the frogs here in a minute, you just have to not over get it too wet. It's the water that will peel your paper and make it bleed through. It's not just paint. It's not just the paint. It's the water. You have no... <laughs> okay, crazy. I have no sweaty rock star memorabilia yet. Yet. <laughs> yeah, if y'all have any questions, just put it in caps. I, I am trying to keep uh, an eye on the chat. But... Um, yeah, put it in caps so I know you're talking to me. Because the chat moves right along. And if you're, uh, you know, if you're just talking to each other, I try to catch as much of it as I can. But, you know, if you're talking to me, put it in caps. I won't think you're yelling at me. So, uh, yeah. Now, alcohol markers like Copics, any kind of alcohol markers, those will go through every paper. So if you ever want to use uh, alcohol markers on a color book, you just need to have the one sided kind of color. There's nothing on the back so that you can put a piece of paper behind it. And then let, if it bleeds through onto a scratch paper, you know, uh, <clears throat> Okay, so let's see. Well, I think we might be able to wrap up this background. All right, I'm going to turn it sideways. I try not to turn pay the books uh, any which way when I'm uh, streaming, but I'm going to do it this time because I can get in here quicker and get this little section done if I turn it sideways. And I am kind of getting out of lines here or there, going on to like the stems or whatever. But I know that I'm going to go in here and shade everything with color pencil. So if it goes out of line, it doesn't bother me like it does bother some people. Because I know I'm going to just color over it. And it's not going to matter in the end. So... I mean, I am trying to be kind of neat, but if it gets out of line a little. And again, sometimes it might take, you know, a couple areas. It might take two coats if you want a solid color, which is what I was going for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, not, not quite that fangirl, uh, Juanita. Wasn't quite that fangirl, but yeah. <laughs> I still have some of my concert tickets. I didn't, you know, I saved some. I didn't save them all. And, you know, when you move, I've moved 30 times in my life. When you've moved all that much, you don't, you know, a lot of things don't follow follow you along. I think I have one little box with uh, a couple of uh, concert memorabilia. But I do have, like, a list. I do have a list of the concerts I've been to, at least the, the ones I remember. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Porcupine D has a great tips. Oh, did my oh porcupine says no idea why I never thought to color with with paint. Oh yeah, and you can do watercolor. You can do it. You can paint with any. You can do it with anything. Uh, again, I don't. Well, let's see. Where's that book here? In Worlds Within Worlds, I just have this one sitting here. Here's a, here's a, well, here's a couple pages, actually, where I've painted uh, this one. Background is painted black paint, and then it's pencil on top to do the, uh, to do the nebulization, to do the nebulas and the shooting stars. And then that's all silver gel pen. Silver gel pen for all the wiring and all for, um, for the Ferris wheel and all. And then the other one was the shoes. <clears throat> the background here, that's all paint. 
uh, blue paint and then I painted the white clouds. So I just fluffed in, just fluffed in some white clouds. And then it's a base coat. It's a layer. Here, let me show you the uh, dinosaur. So like here's a dinosaur I'm working on. But this is what it looks like when you first do a wash. You have to do it thin enough. You have to water your paint down, your acrylic paint. You have to water it down thin enough so that you can still see the line art, right? So it has to be thin enough to see the line art, unless you're doing a background. The background, if you want it flat black, you're going to put stars, or you're just going to have a you know dark blue background or whatever. There's no water in that. But this is watered down so that you can still see the line art. Then you go back in here with pencil and start shading. So you pencil, you shade with pencil on top of your acrylic wash because it gives it a tooth. The acrylic paint will give it a slight tooth that color pencils just love. Okay, so I'm almost done with this background here. And we're going to do the frogs. So, yeah, that's the concert chat. <laughs> and my favorite pencils are my Prismacolor, although I'm going to say I saw some. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the brand yet because I, I don't, but I saw another budget-friendly pencil video. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Maybe. I still have some Amazon birthday money. It may be spent on another pencil. <laughs> Not that I need any more pencils, seriously. I have my, I've got three sets, maybe more of Prismas. I've got Holbys, Polly's, Lumi's, <laughs> and, um, Arteza. Oh, what else? And then, of course, then I have the watercolor pencils. I have different watercolor ones and ink tints and so, but lately I just haven't been doing a lot of coloring because we've been doing so many other things, collaging, art, animal drawings, and, you know, just other things, which, you know, you got, sometimes you just need a break from doing one kind of thing all the time. And, you know, I do my pet portraits for a uh, commission. Well, pets and people, it just seems lately it's been pets, but I do people portraits too. If y'all want to see any of my other artwork, just go look on my Instagram and you'll see all kinds of portraits, pets, people. I do um, Inktober every year. I've done Inktober for six years. So I do a little bit. Of, that, I don't, that's usually about the only inking I really do, though, is Inktober. And I feel like, oh, it's keeping my hand, you know, in the ink. Because I used to be a calligrapher. I used to do calligraphy. The, you know, dip, nib, dipping calligraphy. <laughs> um, see, I ordered two sets this week on Amazon. It's fine. Just go with it. <laughs> Do you, you want to tell me what ones you ordered, Ashley? What pencils did you order? Which book is this one, Porcupine? This one is Fragile World. I did do a, a flip of it. If we have time at the end, I'll flip it again. But I did flip it about an hour ago. So if you go back, you you can see me do a complete flip of it. Okay. Um, now you say the word frog. Frog. Do I, have a, I, do I have a southern drawl? I really don't think I have much of a southern accent. Sometimes it comes out when I do it on purpose, you know. <laughs> and I'm, I was uh, watching a tiff. A southern gal. A southern gal what is it southern gal creation southern gal something i can't remember her youtube channel and i told hubster i said you know you hear so many fake you know i was raised in texas but he was raised here in georgia so you know his sisters and stuff have more of a southern accent than me or him um because he didn't he hasn't lived here for you know until we came here back here after military um you know he didn't have he didn't have the southern accent but anyway, just to, I wanted to get back to Tiff on Southern um, Southern Gal something. I can't remember. If you put in Southern Gal, she'll come up. And she has mixed media. She has a true Southern accent. And Hubster, I was watching the other day. I said, listen to Tiff. 
she's one of the people that has a real Southern accent. Cause you hear it like Hollywood, Hollywood Southern accents are so fake and so not Southern. And it's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know? So, but I love Tiff's accent. Um, she really, let me see, hang on. Let me, let me, I'm going to bring her up real quick. Hang on. I could do a share screen, but, but uh, yeah, I might just, just disconnect us. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So let me just go over here on my phone. <clears throat> let me go over here. Let me look up Southern Gal. Southern Gal. Southern Girls. Is it Southern Girl Designs? Yeah. Southern Southern Gals Designs is her name. So let me just, um, I'm going to put her on here. Now let's get past, let me get past the ads. Hang on. So you can hear Tiff. If y'all don't follow her, she's just, she's a hoot. She's fun. Okay, so hang on. Um, all right, let me forward it a little bit to where she's talking. The VIP to save 20% on all six classes is going to be tomorrow. <laughs> so make sure that you check the link below so you don't miss out on all the goodness. So you saw that I added that beautiful, beautiful, bright, glittery pink. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's Southern Gal, it's Southern Gal's design. And she's, she's doing this one, this last video. She just took a bunch of cardboard and just like literally slapped on some gesso, threw paint all over it, and then was like breaking, you know, making little pieces out of it to work on. <laughs> she's fine. So, yeah, y'all got to go follow Tiff. So, okay, I think I got the background. There's a couple little edges where I can may have to go back and tweak it even with a pencil. Oh, wait, here's what I missed a spot here. Usually y'all go, oh, you missed, missed between those leaves. So there. Now let me just kind of look it over. But she has a true southern accent. And it's it's pleasant to, to hear real southern accents. <laughs> uh, it sounds Australian to you? Oh, I don't know. Hi. Um, there's Selena. Selena, I showed my, uh, my order came in. My, uh, most recent order came in with the trims. I showed your trims. There's Amore Fabrics. That's Selena, the one I get all those beautiful fabrics from. And she has an Etsy shop and a YouTube. Follow her on YouTube if you want to find daily deals. When she posts daily deals and she has, she's selling some buttons. Buttons. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I have a, I, and I know it's just me. I have a pet peeve with some certain words, and uh, yeah, I overemphasize buttons because I, and it's just me. If you say it this way, don't email me. But I can't stand it when people say buttons. I have some buttons. I can't stand it. I'm sorry. Just like eh, it's like fingernails on a chalkboard. But don't email me. <laughs> So, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me clean my brush. I know someone's going to comment or leave an email. They always do. But uh, I, I, I just ignore it. If people are real, real mean, I, I, uh, I uh, take their comments down. But most of the time, people aren't really mean. <laughs> I just laugh. Okay. So let me hit this with a heat gun now. Make sure it's all dry. I know I did a I did a thing one time on I don't know if it was on Facebook or where it was I'm not on Facebook anymore. It's just too taxing. <laughs> it's too exhausting. But uh, so I'm still there. I post my art every now and then, but I'm really not on Facebook very much. And if y'all send me a friend request, I'm gonna tell you right now, probably is I'm not gonna friend you because I'm just not there that much. Uh, I'm on Instagram and YouTube pretty much, you know, pretty much everywhere. It's all about the art anymore. But, um, you know, I, I mean, I still get in discussions every now and then on Twitter, but not much anymore. But I said all that to say, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, I did a post one time on bring back the T's. T, the letter T, because people just, I don't know, I guess we just get lazy and we just leave out the T in words. 
all kinds of words, not just button, but lots of words. People leave out the T. Like, I, and I just have a thing. Bring back the T in words. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've heard the weather girl say words without the T. I can't think of one right now. But um, you know, let, let's see, like, um, oh, I don't know. I don't want to pick on anybody right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everybody be nice. No emails. Okay, so there we go. So we got the background done, although I may have missed something a little here and there, but I want to get on to the frog. All right, so I'm going to, and I am zoomed, really zoomed in here, so always shake up your acrylic paints because they do have oils in them that it can separate. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of the lime green, and I do want to clean my hands off here a little bit with the baby wipe, so I'm not smearing anything anywhere. And I'm going to take my water bottle and I'm going to water it down because you want to water it down when you uh, do a wash. All right, let's see what brush do I want here. That's I want an angle brush if I can find one here. Well, this one's not angle, but it'll work. Okay, so I'm going to water down the paint. You have to have it watered down enough that you see the line art. Because if you just have it thick like I did the background, you're just going to cover up all the line art, right? You don't have a place to shade. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not a big deal. Okay, so now I'm going to just go over here uh, on the frog. And even though, and I think these leaves too, these leaves are going to be, I'm going to base coat these big leaves. Even though they're going to have a little bit different shade of green, little toe right there so um what this does is it gives your pet your element whatever it is your color and this is all going to be green too it gives it some tooth and your color pencil just goes awesome over acrylic wash okay so i'm just going to do the whole every place it's going to have this kind of it's going to have a base of this lime green now there's a little there's a little uh, snail there. I don't want, I mean, I could go over him too because color pencil will go right over it. But I want to be careful not to go up under this page and get it on the next page. All right, so you're going to see real quick how fast. Here's the. Well, here's one of the benefits other than, I think, do they have green eyes? I think they have brown eyes. Let me look here. I had a picture of one. Oh. No, they have black, black eyes with a white. Okay, maybe I don't know. They're really dark. I guess they they are. They all look black. Oh no, that one has cream color. I guess they have different color eyes. Maybe they're just black pupils, big black pupils in the daylight. I'm trying to see what other color. Um, let's see another picture some of them have red eyes but i think these lemur leapfrogs it looks like they have black eyes and i'll just uh, highlight them well anyway um you get you can get your pages done so much quicker too because you've got a base coat can you imagine how long it would take to shade all this with your uh green pencil not that there's anything wrong with that but you can get you can get a page done so much quicker because you've got a base to work on top of and i think this is going to be the green here on this stem they're going to be different shades of green but i'm just getting a base coat in here okay see how quick that is <clears throat> see i don't like it okay we're, we're just still on the tea <laughs> all right let me water this down a little All right, so I'm just going to get all the leaves and the frog, the three little frogs. And that might be green, too. And then we'll at least start shading the frog with pencil. But one of the things that I get from people the most is I can get so many more pages done when I base coat with with acrylic paint yes yes you can <laughs> <clears throat> would you recommend 
some coloring books with faces. Um, well, I'm not sure if you can still get the ones that I, um, I used last week as an, I used them as an example for, um, color using the, uh, Crayola markers and pencils, the colors of the world. Those have little kid, little girl faces, and they're really good because they have all different nationalities. So if you want to practice different nationalities, I'll show you in just a minute. But a lot of the Asian color books have beautiful faces. And, you know, if y'all want to see some color books, I can try to squeeze in a couple flips. You know, I'll pull a couple off the shelf before we go. You're welcome, Kim. Thanks for being here. All right. So, um... Oh, well, let me just pull that one real quick just to show you. This is the ones we did. Now, we didn't finish them. I just did a couple of, uh, let me move this up. Uh, these books right here, Coloring Wild. There's one, two, and three. So, And they're little square books. They're about, I guess, about an eight by eight, something like that. And they're all close-up of faces, but they have flowers. See, look, all different kind of little girl faces. So these are real good if you just want to do faces. And, again, here's the ones we did. Uh, we did these on uh, stream last week, just the faces, right? And we're not finished. And I did these with the, the Crayola markers and pencils. Um, but those are good. Those are good for just faces to practice. Um, but if you want to get more in depth, like, let me pull my phone up here. Um, I can't remember which, let me see. I'm probably, I'm sure I say, I always try to uh, put a picture of the color book and the name of the color book. So hang on. Let me, um, let me go back here. I'll pick a couple here off of my uh, uh, another good one is um, Jasmine Beckett if you like the big eye girls um, I did a I did about 20 pages out of uh, about 20 pages also at uh, in October out of the uh, pop manga cute and creepy so I have a whole I, you can see them all on Instagram and I named the books I tell you the name of the books that I colored out of, but I was looking for my, um, I don't know how far back it goes. Uh, but I, I have some that are done with markers, some that are done with pencils. Um, Hang on, I'm flipping. But my Instagram has tons, guys. Tons of color book pages on my Instagram. And some I colored more cartoony. Some I color very realistic. Like, um, I don't know if I, where's my wolf? Girl with the wolf. She's very realistic. But I'm not sure how far back that is. Here's a Jasmine. There's the Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This one's out of her Halloween. One of her. This is one of the big eye girls that Jasmine does. So if you like that. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat. So hang on, guys. I'm trying to find some more samples of. Uh, and then I like the kimono girls. I did them with pat, uh, pan pastels. These are done with pan pastels and color pencils. So I use a little bit of everything. Here's another one. I really like her. It's all done with pan pastels. Uh, hang on. Here she is. This girl. So see, I can do realistic looking, realistic looking skin. And she, and hair too, hair. But uh, she's looking at a wolf. So there's a there's a picture of uh, it's a double page spread. The wolf is on one side. See her hand there, and she's on the other side. And she's going, come here, come here. 
So you can, you can do realistic coloring as well. Um, but as far as just one particular book to recommend, it just depends on what you like. The little girl faces, the big eye girls. If you like the Asian, the Asian coloring books that are very detailed. Those flowers, look how detailed that is. That book is coloring, Portrait of Beauty by San Ji Han. San, San Ji Han. But some of these might be hard to find now. That was in 2017. So, you know, I don't know how many of these books are still easily uh, found. Um, Serene. Serene is another one that I, I really like. There's a, there's a red-headed girl that I did in Serene with the orange-red hair and all the metallic-y looking... Uh, let's see, I put uh, my first IG, non-human skin went with blue. I was nervous. You're welcome, Porcupine. Um, did I see a moon, Moonlit Crafter? I'm not sure. Here's another Serene. But again, just go over to my Instagram. There's tons, tons of color books, pages. I don't want to say hundreds, but there's a lot. Um, all right, let me go to... Oh, the blue. Oh, this one. Yeah, well, she just looks kind of like Elfish. I think it turned out good with the blue skin. That looks really nice. Moonlit. It's Moonlit Crafter there. She has quite a few color book pages too. She has quite a few color book pages. Yeah. All right. Let me clean my brush out now. Because it's probably dried up. <laughs> All right. So let's water this back down again. Watering this down. Now once this dries, once acrylic paint dries, you cannot reconstitute this. So if I let this harden, you can't get it to reactivate. Okay, it, uh, it won't reactivate. All right, so let's go back over here and finish up the frog and the leaves, this leaf here. I'm trying to stay in camera because I'm so zoomed I have to move the book. And I think this is going to be green here. They're going to be different shades of green, but I can go back over it, right? I can either go back over it with acrylic paint or go back over it with color pencil, which is what I'm going to do for these frogs in just a minute. I want to get the frogs in here, um, or at least one and maybe a flower or something. But after I finish it, I'll post it, and I... And I uh, Always post a picture of the book cover. I post a picture of the book cover. You got to scroll by. You know, you have to scroll over on Instagram. Uh, I post a picture of the book and always give credit to the artist that made the book. So, and y'all should do that too. If you post pictures out of a color book, you don't have to necessarily post a picture, a slide over of the cover, but you should always give credit to the artist. The name of the book and the 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 name of the book and the artist that made the book. It's just the right thing to do. And you can also uh, tag, like I always tag Kirby when I do a Kirby book or whoever, you know, who you tag them and then that gives them credit and it gives them um, more exposure. So you want to tag them if they are on Instagram. Most of them are some of the Asian Artists are not on Instagram. At least I couldn't find some of them. But I at least always put the, the picture of their book and the name that's on the cover of the book. 
if I can tag them, I do. And uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Did I miss any green? Uh, yeah, a little bit here. There's a there's a stem there. You can't see it because I col colored over it, but I'll just go back in. Here, let me show you. Let me dry that off. All right, let me get a... All right, so I can take a white and put that stem back in, and then I can go over that with pencil or uh, paint. And the same thing with Posca. Posca is good. A white, if, you had, if you only could buy one Posca, get you some white Posca. And a fine tip is the best because you can do so much with a white Posca. You can correct things. You can um, highlight things and then go back over it with a color. You can do so much with a white Posca pen. So if I was going to tell you to get one Posca, it would be a white. Okay, so now we got this brushed in. And it does curl a little. It does curl a little bit. You can just roll it back. It's not, and it's not going through. It's not going through. I didn't get it so wet. If you want to add more and more layers of acrylic, you want to dry in between because it's the water that's going to peel on your paper and soak through. So you want to let it dry or hit it with the heat gun, huh? which I'm going to do now. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun. And you do want it 100% dry before you go in with pencil. Because if you try to put your Prismacolor color pencils on top of wet or damp paper, you're just going to rip it, probably. You want to make sure it's 100% dry. I was going to say I try to finish this today, but because I had my eye appointment yesterday, I didn't get to run my errands yesterday. I have errands to run today after the stream, after lunch, so I probably won't finish it today. Maybe I might finish it tonight, but um, I'll try to finish it by the weekend. And sometimes your paper might buckle just a little. But I can tell you, you know, if it, if it buckles just a little, don't fret because by the time you go and do the back page, your page is going to be 100% flat. I mean, you know, look, can you see how flat this book is? Look, the pages that this all, this is all background with acrylic paint and the page is just as flat as can be. So, you know, if there's any buckle or warping in any of them, it's because I haven't done the back page. But once you do the back page, it's going to flatten out perfectly fine. Okay. All right. So let's take a sip of juice here. Hi, Judy. All right. So let's work on these frogs. All right. So let me move my paint over to the side for now. And I'll see, I pulled other greens as well. So I can go in here with these greens and do more shading. I just wanted to cover the green just so y'all could see it covered. But I can go back in here and do a wash of other greens on here or just go in with pencil. So, all right, let me move this out of my way so I don't stick my wrist in it. Let's move this out of the way. And I already got some paint on my hand. Let's wipe that off. All right, so now I'm going to get my pencils here out of my pencil my pencil case so I don't have to dig out of the silverware tray one that I tipped over over the weekend because then I'll really be digging. I'll really be digging through. All right, so <clears throat> let's see here. Let's start with, I know I'm going to need light green, lime green, an olive green. And a really dark, dark green. What color is this one? Peacock green? Maybe peacock green. And then his, their underbelly and their hands have like a orange and a yellow ochre. I'll tell you the colors I'm pulling in a minute. But I only tell it to you once. I don't, every time I, I know, and not say, not dissing on anybody that does this. I just, this is not a tutorial. So I don't, I don't sit here and tell you and give you numbers and write them all out. Tell you what pencils, what names, what pencil numbers. I tell you once <laughs> and then I'm swapping back and forth and I don't, I don't pay attention. 
So, um, and I'll need black kind of over here. I might need white too. Okay, so I got black and white. I got a lime peel. I got um, yellow, what is this? Yellow chartreuse. I have uh, yellow orange. I have lime peel, peacock green, and yellow ochre. Okay, those are the colors I'm starting with. Now, will I pick out something else? Maybe. But those are the colors I'm starting out with. I'm just got a little plastic here. I got, I use uh, the MR metal bullet one. I use the the coom wood one, a, a plastic one. I, I'm really, I'm going to be honest, I don't really, I'm not real picky about my pencil sharpeners. They all seem to work just fine for me now, you know. The other tip that I would tell you about um, Prismacolor pencils is I know there for a while, uh, you know, they had some sets that when they switched from U.S. to Mexico and back and anyway, so some of the pencils didn't have very good quality for a while. Now, all my sets, I probably have, I know I have three complete sets and tons of extras that I've bought individually. And that's just because I've used them up. You know, I've, I can't even tell you how many sets I've used up. You know, maybe not every single pencil, but a lot of them. But when you buy them individually, make sure, let's see if I can find one that's not perfectly round. Uh, I'm so careful anymore to make sure. Ah, here's one. Okay. And if it came in the set, you can't really do anything about it. But when you buy them individually, make sure the lead, the pigment is perfectly centered. Okay. See how it's, it's perfect. It's not maybe it's just a little off, but it's, it's in the middle. You got nice wood all around. Now look at it compared to this one. Can you see the difference? Look at that. Look how off center that is. See how off center that is? If you buy them like this. Now, if they come in your set, you, you're stuck with it. But if you buy them individually, don't make sure to look at the ends and don't buy this. Don't buy that one. Because when you go to sharpen it, it's going to break easier. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to break every single time. It could. But you want it, you don't want to buy that. <laughs> Can y'all see? That's real obvious to me. You want to buy them when they're centered. Okay. Let's see. Who else am I coming in? Michelle. I'm probably missing people coming in. All right. So now people also ask me, do you start with the light colors, the dark colors? I really don't have a formula for that. I just kind of go in. Oh, the other thing you probably want to do is put a piece of cardstock. Let me, get, let me get a piece of cardstock. It's best to have cardstock, not just a piece of paper. You know, if I can get a let me grab one over here. <clears throat> Um, put a piece of cardstock behind your work so that you're not denting the next page. You're going to dent this one a little bit, but you don't want to dent, you know, if, especially if you start hard pressuring anything, you'll put a dent in the next page. And then when you go to color on this side, you're going to see that dent. So put a piece of cardstock behind, you know, whatever you're working on. And if it's if your page is bigger like this, make sure you slide this over. Like before I work on this leaf, I want this paper to be over. Because if I work on this leaf with this page right here, it's going to put a crease. It's going to put a line right there. Y'all know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? So before you color this, you want to slide your paper or your cardstock off so you don't have that line. Same thing for over here. If I'm working here, I don't want that line because it's a piece of cardstock. I can feel that dent, right? I mean, you'll put a line there. So you want to kind of make sure you move it around or have a bigger piece of cardstock so you don't have to worry about it, one or the other. Okay. So I think I am going to start on um, a frog now. Okay. So I'm going to, his underbelly has like a yellow color, a, Let's see, do I need to zoom in? Even? I don't know. If I zoom in too much, sometimes we really lose clarity. It, you know, it starts kind of pixelated, starts getting a little fuzzy. Let's see if I can turn it down just a little. I don't know. 
the contrast. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start with these, his underbelly. And uh, I think right up under their little chins, right up under their little chins, it's kind of a creamy white color. So I'm going to go ahead and the thing, here's the thing, and I know I've shown this a zillion times too. <laughs> here's another uh, benefit of doing an acrylic, acrylic paint wash instead of just going solid with pencil. I could have gone on here and colored all this with a base coat of a solid color. But let me show you what, let me get a better piece of paper. Okay, so pay attention. This is important. <laughs> One of the benefits of another of the benefits of having a, of a, a wash is and let me get that blue green here. Okay. Now it's probably better if I do black because black's a good example. Let me get my black paint. Hang on. Let me get. Hang on. Let me um. All right. Let me just uh, let me set this down for a minute because I really want to show this because it really is important. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of black paint in. Okay, so here's black paint, which I'll have to dry because you can't pencil over wet paint. All right, let me get the baby wipe. Get my finger clean. Y'all paying attention? All right, now let me dry that. All right, now I'm going to take a black pencil. So here is, this is black acrylic, and we're going to do black pencil, okay? All right, to have it as dark as that black acrylic paint, okay? Now, yes, <laughs> David, yes, class, listen up. <laughs> now, so what I, what made me remember to show this to you is right up under his chin here. See how I went over the green and I made it white? If I had done just green pencil under his chin, I could not have got that that white again. And here's what here's how I can give you the best example. So here's black pencil. So and you can imagine it any color, any color. Now I'm going to take my white my white pencil, now I'm going to give it hard pressure. Look, there's no way I'm getting that pencil to be white, that black. All I'm doing is, you know, I'm and I'm hard pressuring, but look, see how that's just smearing the black? There's no way I'm going to get white to pop up on top of that black pencil, right? And by the way, always clean off your pencil if you go over a dark color with a light color. You always want to, I have a place over here I just scratch it off I just clean it off on my paper next to me but you always want to clean off your pencil or resharpen it so you don't uh, contaminate because then well, let's just say I had I had done some uh, pencil work on top of a black pencil then I've got black on there and I go to do something with a face you're going to have a black smear on your face, right? So you always want to look at the tips of your pencils to make sure you're not transferring color over, okay? All right, so that is white pencil, hard pressured on top of black pencil. Now here is white pencil on top of acrylic paint. Look at that. And I just light pressure. Look, light pressure. And if I do even hard pressure, look, I can get that pure back to pure white almost. See? See, you can do that on top of acrylic. Well, this works with any color. So I can get, I could get this whole leaf back to pure white if I wanted to. So the benefit of having an acrylic is you can put light on top of a dark, even black, and it'll work so nice. You couldn't do, you can't do that with just solid pencil. See? Okay. Very important. <laughs> so that's how I got that nice white little chest back. Okay, so now let me get my yellow again here. And their little arms have the yellow 
Now their hands are, um, well, they have a, their forearms, I should say. Their forearms are still green, but their little hands are this orangey yellow with white, like white fingertips. Let's make sure I get the fingertips there. Or toe, toe prints. <laughs> Y'all see that? All right, so let me um, just work on, I'm just, and I'm not hard pressuring any of this. See how far I'm holding my pencil back? That's, you'll, you'll get a nice, I, I hold it back so y'all can see as well, but also you'll have, you'll make yourself have light pressure if you hold your pencil farther back. You get up on like this, and you're going to hard pressure. You don't want to do that because then you can't layer. Once you get a wax buildup with uh, your Prismacolor, you're not going to be able to layer. You can hard pressure and get some color, but you're not going to be able to get uh, layers if you hard pressure. You want to do light, light. Um, I'm looking at the a picture there, seeing if I'm going to get the right where the, where the orange is. So you want to have light um, coats. So that you can get in there and um, add some more layers. Those little toes are kind of have a little white. Now, if you if you let's just say you can't get it back white enough, you've either got too much pencil or you just can't get it white enough. Well, that's where you can use your Posca. Okay, so if they have any little highlights, now I wouldn't necessarily I wouldn't be doing this now. I'd wait till toward the end of the frog, but I just want y'all to see that you can add nice highlights with your Posca, okay? So let me just put some on there just so you can kind of see, and I'll hold it up a little closer. So that you can't get with just pencil. See those white highlights with the Posca? But if you don't want them white, let's just say his toes were yellow, not white. Well, you can do it with white, and then let that dry. Got to let it dry. And once that's dry, then you can go back in there with yellow and, and go over the Posca. And you'll knock it back from being pure white, but it'll still be vibrant. It'll still stand out. Okay, let's see. I don't see any questions or anything for me. Yeah, and Gaga's still here. Thank you so much, Gaga, for sending me this book for my birthday. All right, now I'm going to go in here with the lime peel. And I want his, I'm going to start putting a layer of the lime green. Just, I'm going right over the paint. Okay, so now maybe I should have started with, well, I don't know, I guess either one. There's not a full frog on either one. Okay, I need a little bit of orange down in that leg and then green a little bit more orange on under his chest there and then I'm going to go ahead and start putting the first shade on his face and I can leave some of the light yeah the light lime color um the wash I can leave some of the wash there and then his little lip his little bottom lip it has an orange to it as well is it too flashed out I hope we're good maybe let me see let me move it and come back there we go thanks Gary thank you and hi by the way if y'all don't follow Gary, he's a, he is an amazing artist, and I've shown his books before. I buy his sketchbooks, and I did. I bought um he had an auction of some of his um, sketches. <laughs> I love them. I bought some of his sketches, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the yellow on. Um, they're hit in the picture. Their eyes are really white in the day, and kind of they have a kind of a yellow at night because their bodies are more brown in the day and at night. So I think I'm going to try to leave their his um, uh, 
irises pretty white except i'm going to shade with blue i always like to shade my eyes any part that's white is going to have a little bit of blue the other tip that i can tell you about color books is the line art for most books not all some some line arts very dark but for the most part the line art is fairly light so you can, you know, they do it on purpose so you can color and shade and blend, right? But the, the thing about having light line art is the blacks are not pure black. So especially in eyes, let me see if I can find me a uh, favor Castell. Especially in eyes and pupils, don't use a Sharpie pen. You can use a Sharpie pen. Don't use a Sharpie marker. This is a Sharpie pen and it won't go through. Sharpie markers will, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you could do it with pencil too, but I'm trying to show you the dramatic of it. So I want you to see the difference when you have the blacks very black, like they, they're meant to be versus, and that's true of any pupils in the eyes, you know, very dark. So can you see the difference right there? Yeah, you can. So you want the blacks to be very black in the pupils and where well ever else because they have this, this frog has a black outline around his eye, so I want it to be very dark too. So I want that outline to stand out. And uh, anyway, so Gary is working on Titan Mouse uh, Volume Two or Episode Episode Two. What uh, the next segment? I've I've uh, backed both of his books and uh, bought some of his sketchbooks and some of his art. I know I've shown it to y'all before. But Gary's an amazing artist. Okay, so now, you know, just the way that the it is, the pupils to me, I mean, the highlights in the pupils, look, this one just needs to be a little bigger. I'm just, I just think. So I'm going to come over here and with the Posca, I can get in there and change the shape of the pupil. Or, I mean, the highlight, I can, you know, get in here and, and round off anything that I might have, you know, not got perfectly round. And you can always add extra highlights. So I'm just going to do that on purpose just so y'all can see a little extra highlight in his eye. See, so you can just add a little extra, extra, right? I don't get too extra. <laughs> and, of course, if you mess it up, then you go back in with a pen or a pencil and fix it. So, but I wanted a little bit of uh, the blue shadow in there because his eyes, they're really in the picture, are the they're white in the day with just a big black pupil. You can also add a little bit of blue in the pupil um, if you wanted to have just a little bit extra glow in there. It's probably not going to show up on camera. All right, so now I've got the first like layer there. Now I'm going to come in here. I don't know if I said this. Let me see what other. Yeah, I said the green. I said the dark green. Okay, so now I've got my peacock green. Now in the in the picture of this, and again, it's called the leaf. What is it called? The let me get the exact name of this frog. Uh, the lemur. Lemur leap frog has the. They're speckled. They're spotted. So I'm going to start. I'm going to go ahead and go in here with my peacock green. And, and Kirby did put some uh, speckly line art in there. But it's kind of like when you do freckles, you don't want them. Don't go in there with, and make them polka dot. Because, I mean, some frogs may be polka dotted, but this one's not. So you, it's just kind of like when you do freckles. You don't, you just want them kind of random. Okay. So I'm just going in here and I'm putting in those speckles. Plus his little nostrils. His little nostrils, I want those two to stand out. Now, I've got his little nostrils in there, but if, even if you look on a frog nostril, they have a highlight. Let's see if I can get my Posca to work here. So I'm going to put, it may not show up right now, but it will by the time I'm done. See how I put a little white highlight over the nostril? See how that makes it stand out? See how it makes his nostrils pop? <laughs> See how it makes his nostrils stand out with the white highlight on the top of it? I want my mailman. Maybe I should go out and check my mail to see if I got any more art cards. I'll, I'll do that before. It's almost 1130. I'll go and uh, check the mail 
to see if we got any more art cards because some of y'all have that have my home address have sent them to my home and the rest of y'all sent them to my PO box. So if there's any more, um, if there's any more, I'll go see. The other thing I want to tell you is like, for instance, right here on this particular leg, there's no little freckles. Okay. But that doesn't mean you can't put them. So again, I always tell people when you are coloring your page, you can do it any way you want. If you want more spots or freckles or whatever, the R's Kirby is not going to email you and say, there was no speckles right there. <laughs> Trust me, Kirby will not email you and tell you you did it wrong. <laughs> Hi, Lady Jan. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so if you want more speckles in one place and put some more. <laughs> but, uh, you know. They're pretty speckly. They, they are pretty speckly. And make them different sizes. Some are smaller. Some are just little dots. Some are a little bit more splotches. In this case, in this particular frog, right? Okay. So I got that started. Now I'm going to go uh, in with, I think I'm going to need my um, lime peel, which is kind of a, uh, a muted uh, gray green and now I'm going to start doing a little bit of shading here I'm going to start you got to take your time you know look at references if you're not sure where to shade or color or you know uh, you're not sure what colors use references look it up you know look it up and see or you can just do a purple frog or a green, you know, blue frog. You can do it any color you want. But because Kirby did these uh, endangered animals, I was trying to kind of, you know, follow his lead and, and do them kind of true to, true to what they are, right? So I'm kind of blending a little bit of the spots, kind of smoothing them out. Again, I'll go back over those white nostril highlights but I'm just trying to get it blocked in but it's because of the acrylic paint that you can do so much so much like I said look at this white pencil over black pencil white pencil over black acrylic paint you can't get this with going over pencil <clears throat> Okay, he's put, they're pretty light colored. So, but you can get in here with highlights with your Posca, like right along the lip line or, you know, along the fingertips, like I showed you. But it's so much quicker to have a base coat. What number is lime peel? Let's see. Um, one, zero, zero, five. So I'm just going to try to do a little bit of, of the green. And then also some of the orange needs a little bit more shout out. I don't think I pulled a brown. Did I pull a brown? Yeah. Oh, I got terracotta sitting here. I'll use terracotta. Let me sharpen it though. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so now I'm going to do a little bit more shading on the orange part of the frog. And just the tiniest bit of extra dry. I tell y'all all the time, and I say it every time, don't email me. You repeat yourself. Well, new people come in all the time. So, yeah, I repeat myself. <laughs> I just laugh. Um most of the time when people email me and ask me, and this is a good email, or message me and say, I used all the same colors, I did the same page, and I, but my page doesn't look like vibrant or as, or as colorful or something's not right on my page, and they'll show me a picture. And I can almost always tell you guys 99% of the time, it's because I don't have enough dark darks. They're afraid to lay down darks. And that's that contrast is what makes your your color books pop. 
it, that's what does it. See how, look at the difference. Just look at the difference here to here. Look, see? See how that makes that pop? And I haven't even blended it in yet. I'm just laid it down. But it that is what makes, that's what makes your piece um, really stand out, is those dark darks. And you can't be afraid to do it. Okay. If you, you know, if you if you're worried that you're gonna mess up a nice color book, well then do some practicing on a do it on a practice sheet, you know, just a piece of cardstock or copy paper, you know, just do a little bit of practice. The other thing is you really want to keep your pencil sharp, really sharp. That's really good. Bye, G. Thank you, G. Sweet. So sweet, G. Thank you. And again, I, I said it earlier, but if y'all um, want to see, um, G took the uh, Colors of the World markers and used them as watercolor and watered them down and showed some different ways to do little sample faces and um, how to do um, some little, little people and stuff. And uh, so it was about a 30 minute video. I was impressed. G doesn't usually do long videos. <laughs> it might have been even over 30 minutes. But G did a nice long video showing um, showing using the uh, colors of the world. These, uh, let me go and grab one here. Mm. Colors of the world, Crayola super tips. And you want you can water them down and use them like as watercolor. G did a whole 30 minute video on that. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna finish shading this frog. I'm gonna run out and check my mail real quick just so I can see if I have any more art cards in there because I want you and I'm gonna show if Gary's still here, I'll show y'all um one of the nice big pieces of art that I got from Gary. I've shown his books before, and uh, but y'all need to follow Gary too. Um, because I, you know, I won't be streaming until next Monday. So if anybody's art cards are in the mail today, I want to show them to you. All right. You see how that's looking? See how that's looking? All right. So let me go run real quick and check the mail. Oh, I didn't mean to close my bedroom door here because the cats, I usually let them in. I let them in and I locked them out. No art cards, so real quick, I'm back out real quick, catch my breath, hang on, just so y'all can see how close up we were zoomed in, so whoops, didn't mean to go out that far, okay, so you can see how it's looking so far. Yeah, let me uh, let me grab one of a couple of art that I bought off Gary. Gary has auctions. I don't know if he's still here, but uh, I bought this original from Gary. And he has YouTube, and he's yeah, he sells awesome books, guys. And he has art auctions all the time. And he's just a he's just a nice guy. I'm <laughs> just gonna say. So if you don't follow Gary Shipman, 
So this is one of the pieces I bought at auction. And then this is another one that I bought here. Let's see if I can kind of see. And then this Titan book. Let me, let me just grab it. Let me grab it. Hang on. I really want to promote here. Oops. I really want to promote here. That didn't unplug me. Did that unplug me? No. Okay. All right. We're still here. <laughs> I thought that I unplugged myself. Wouldn't be surprised. So this is Titan Mouse of Might. This is the first, the first one. And he has a second one he's working on now. And you can watch him work on it. You can watch him work on it on his channel. And, uh, so I'm just going to kind of flip through so you can kind of see. <clears throat> I love the cat picture. <laughs> so Gary is an amazing artist. So I did a, a mural of Titan in my mural room. So this was the first one. He's working on the second one. And then I also bought this book. He has all kinds of books, guys. He's an amazing artist. But this is a somewhat gothic, sometimes ugly sketchbook. And it's just got all kinds of sketches. I know. Isn't he porcupine? He is. He was here earlier. He might have left. He might be streaming now for all I know. Um, but anyway, uh, this has all different kinds of his art in it. He, he did an original drawing in the, in the front of the book, but it's, he's just done all kinds of art in here. <clears throat> and it's uh, gothic and kind of creepy cool. So he's got a little of everything in here. And they're hardback, high quality. I mean, they're just quality books. So, and I know I've read it to you before. I'm going to read it again. It's my, one of my favorite little stories in his book here. Let me find it. It's toward the front. Where is it? This one. All right, I'm going to read this to y'all real quick. <laughs> you like this? You like this book, Tori? Yeah. Well, Gary Shipman, all right, I'm going to read this one to you because I read it all the time. And Gary's read it on his show, too. So it's not like it's like, you know, not don't read it. OK, so <laughs> I love this little story. This is the somewhat true story of a boy who just wanted a friend, someone to share a breakfast with. One morning, he was almost done eating his breakfast and wishing and hoping for a friend. He looked down into his bowl and thought that his wish had come true. He noticed that there were little bugs climbing out of his bowl. His first thought was maybe the bugs would be his friends. But his dream of having a friend came to an end when he realized they probably hated him because he'd already drowned and eaten many of them. So if you want to have friends, you should always check the expiration date. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to have friends, you should always check that inspiration. <laughs> but anyway, so Gary's work is just, he's just got, you know, all this is just a creepy, cool, you know, somewhat gothic, sometimes ugly sketchbook. <laughs> But this is the one he's working on. He's working on the volume two of Titan. <laughs> and uh, they're nice hardback books. And he has other books in a series, too, in Packin's Land. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me go back to work on this just for a little bit longer. What was that? Oh. Um, what else does somebody, oh, somebody wanted to see some color book pages. So y'all tell me what you want me to do. Do you want me to work on the other frog or do you want me to show you some other pages that I've colored in other books? Cause one of the girls was asking, I'll do wh whatever y'all want to do. So, um, it's up to you guys. <laughs> oh. 
I just threw out a bunch of cereal boxes yesterday, just in time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Carla goes, you lost some friends. <laughs> you lost some friends, Devin. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my eyes are watering. <laughs> I think uh, maybe I'll show y'all a couple other color books. Um, again, I will finish this. And now I can do one of two things. I can work on this and finish it over the weekend and post it on IG so you can see it done. Or I could not work on it and work on it next week if you want to see me work on it some more. Or I can finish it this weekend and maybe next week start another page because I did want to, I, I also did want to do the um, pandas. <laughs> so it's whatever y'all want to do. I mean, I can uh, finish this over the weekend and post it so you can see it finish, continue it next week or um, yeah. So I don't know if y'all want to see some other books that are finished. One of the other girls said they did. But she may have already gone. She may have already gone. So it's up to you guys what you want. For now, about 20 minutes. I have about 20 more minutes. Whatever y'all want to do. Do the pandas next week. Uh, that means I got to finish this over the weekend. Someone said finish this one. Finish. I can finish it over the weekend and try to you know, post it on Instagram. Um, I won't finish this today. You know, I'm, I never finish a full page on it on a stream there. I mean, I guess I have at some point, but so I'm hoping y'all can see we've gone from just a wash like this to this. Now he's not done. I'm blending them out, but you can see how that, uh, those darks is what makes it, um, the darks is what makes it. So, all right, well, let's see then. Let me show, I'm, she, somebody was asking about some faces in some other books. Now, again, I cannot promise you that these books are still available, right? That they're still available or that, you know, uh, they're shipping them or, you know, I can't, I can't promise y'all that. So let's see. But I'll show you a few. These are some of the larger ones. I'll show you the largest one first. And I know I've shown this before, but this is the um, Nick. Um, I can't say his uh, real name. But uh, he. Um, let's see here. This is a poster. And I am working on this poster. <laughs> and this does have Copic markers. You see how big it is. Well, let me let me back all the way out. This is Copic marker, it's and then shading on top. Now it's not done, but you can see where I'm heading with it, down here where this is done. So you can see. Um, have I seen the price for Serene on Amazon? No, I've not. How much is it, Sarah? I didn't. I don't even know if it's still available. Yeah, so Nick Filbert is the name he goes by. If you follow him on Instagram, look up Nick Filbert. But he does Serene, he does Eerie, he does, here's a, he has a bunch of books. So anyway, this is one that I'm working on that, um, and it's, I wrote it down here. It's, uh, it's 20, 34 by 52, is that right? No, 25 by 34. It's 25 by 34 inches. So I just want to show you the biggest one I'm working on. Let's fold it correctly. It's like a map. You got to fold it like the map. <laughs> and uh, anyway, that's called Let's Color Love. There's his real name, but he goes by Philbert, Nick Philbert. Okay. He does Serene, which is this one. Okay. I do have two copies of Serene. Because I, uh, I like them so much. <laughs> it's just one of my favorite. It's one of my all time. Whoops, that's too close. It's one of my all time favorite books. So I'll show you. And they are not all done. They're not fi all finished. But you can see um, at different stages. Um, <clears throat> some I have extra glitter. Here's the girl I showed you that I uh, off of Instagram. There's the girl with the orange hair. These are all out of the same book. This is all out of Serene. And 
I do have gold. Bye, Gaga. Thanks again, Gaga, for my book. I love it so much. This one obviously is not done. But again, you can see where I'll put a wash. So here's, here's a wash of blue paint, right? Wash of the blue. And then here's with it shaded. Plus with some white. See how you can do, this is black acrylic paint. But because that's black acrylic paint, I was able to go on the black acrylic paint and add this white mist around it. See how I can do that on top? You can't do that on top of black uh, pencil. Okay. Here's my golden goddess. She's not done, but she's in, again, there's gold in there. You can see the gold. This was a little water sprite. Here's, this one's not done either. This is uh, my cemetery angel. She's done for it to here. I wanted to do a monochromatic, so she's just done to here. So I still have to do shading all in here. But you see how I could do all, this is black acrylic paint, but I could do this glow with pencil because of the black acrylic paint. Here's a little, little uh, Christmas sprite. And then these are in progress here. <clears throat> Again, this has gold. Gold in it. There you go. And another tip I can give you when you're doing color book pages is if you stick with like three main colors or so. Now, again, if you've got a big flower garden, I always qualify it by saying if you're doing it, because somebody always says, well, I'm doing a flower garden. I can't just do three colors. <laughs> if you have like three main colors and then accessory colors, your page will look cohesive. See how this has, can you see it? The orange, the blue, and the yellow gold. That makes it look, it will keep it all cohesive. Okay, so, and of course, this is a monochromatic one, but um, like here, here's gold, pink, and blue, you know, so if you, if you keep them kind of, you know, with just a, a few colors, you're, you're going to be able to make the whole page uh, cohesive. So those are some out of Serene, and then that is uh, the poster. But I have some other ones here that are big, and I keep them in this... Um, the bigger ones in this book here. Um, some of my smaller ones I keep in a binder. Okay. And I know I've shown those to you all a lot. I think I won't show the binder today because I've shown that recently. I'll try to pick out a couple of the books. Okay. So this is a page out of Dragon Tales by Anastasia Ellie Coderiva. And the book was this big, and um, this was a bookmark that came with it. I did a little cut in there, to, so if I ever finish the bookmark, so <laughs> I wanted it to be able to look like it was in the book. So um, there's a, I'm trying to get the color to snap back. There you go. And then we did the little jewel. This is another one. This is out of her dragon. This is out of this one, too. And uh, I made her crying in this one. She wasn't really crying in the she wasn't really crying in the picture, but I made her look like she's crying. She's holding a, a little baby uh, dragon. And again, lots of gold and glitter in this one. This one, I think, is this one out of no, this is out of uh, Hidden Paradise by Chris Lopez. So there's a different book. And uh, this one's the Chris Lopez. And this one is Chris Lopez. So those are three out of another book. Here's, here's Ellie Colderiva's mermaid book. These are out of her mermaid book. And again, all that glitter. So put a lot of, a lot of jewel stuff in those. And then let me see what else I have in here. <clears throat> Let's see. Did I keep anything else in here or did I put them back in the, in the, I think I might've put them in the, yeah, I did. I took them out of there. So let's just put these back in here. Try to keep them so they don't get all bent up, you know. So, all right. So hang on. I'll try to show you a couple others that I don't really show very often. But again, they are on my Instagram. 
if you want to see them. All right, so let's see here. Um, all right, these two books here. What's this one? Oh, here's one where I did the collage. Okay, let me show this too. <clears throat> Okay, so this one, um, I just did a demo with the hair, so she's not done. I do a lot of demos here on the show, and then they don't all, you know, if it's just a demo, I don't feel compelled to finish it, but if it's in the books, I try to. So this is a set of art. This is, um, this one is by Mar uh, Mariola Budak, and I have some other ones of hers here, too. And uh, this is one where I cut, I I'm, haven't glued her down yet. But remember where we did this one a couple weeks ago? <laughs> where I colored her and cut it out and I'm going to make it into a collage. That one and where's the other collage girl? Here's one where I just did all white pencil. This is just all done with the white pencil. Well, I think I started with the black, but that's just with white pencil on tone tan. Here's another, um, these two are both from, is it Chris? No, Buddha? No, this is the, yeah, th these are the um, a set of art too. So here's a girl with straw hair. Hi, Ka Hi Carol. Okay, Carol. So there's her. Again, paint, done with paint this girl and the little strands of hair that's done with Posca and then this girl's cut out she's collage and then I put it on I did all the background a space scene on a on another separate piece of paper but cut her out and collaged her in with a, a bunch of other stuff there and painted the uh, sparkly waves and glitter and her sword and so lots of glitter on that one so just a little of everything here and then <clears throat> oh i'm gonna lose those little leaves i need to glue those back i need to glue those in all right let's put that back on the page where is it there it is I keep dropping these little leaves. I need to glue that girl down. All right. Let's see what else I got here. All right. So here's a couple of my favorite Asian books. And these are not cheap. I think I bought this one and Melody gifted me this one. Oh, I got to put my uh, dragon back in the book. I'm going to lose the bookmark. Melody got me this one, and I bought this one off of Etsy. And um, even when, um, even this was, and this was before the virus, and it still took a month. So, you know, even if you can find these again, they're going to take a long time to get to you. I think they come from Korea. If anybody remembers the name of the woman on Etsy that sells them, uh, I never can remember because uh, it's not her name. That's the name of the Etsy shop. Uh, color. Uh, I can't think of it, guys. But there, you can. You, she used to sell on Etsy. I don't know if she still is. Again, they come from Korea, and uh, so and they do take a while to get here. But this is the one that um, that uh, Melody got. I mean, it's called Find Color. That's the name of this one find color now i cannot tell you the name of the well i think i did someone did translate the name did i write it down did i write down the name of the artist mm, i don't remember but if you look up find color asian color book you should be able to find this one and this one came with a um um, oh, Zeely got me this one. Okay, sorry, Zeely. Zeely was here. Zeely got me this one. Melody got me, not this one, because I bought this one myself, I'm pretty sure. But Melody got me some of the other ones. But Zeely, see, I always try to put the name in the back. But look, this one came with, 
Gugeli, Gugeli, that's it. And I know I'm not saying that right, but that's the name of the find color book. Gugeli or Goog, I'm not sure how you say it, but that's 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 it right there. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, so Zeely got me this one. It comes with this little fold-out poster, which I've not done, but it's it's in the back of the book. But that's what this one is. So here, let me show you what I've done here. So I did this one. I can't hold it up too much because it wants to flash out. Maybe if I just go ahead and zoom in, the color stays truer if I do this rather than trying to hold it up. So, or too far anyway. I can tilt it a little. So, yeah. And again, I put glitter in this one. So, I've done a few pages, I think, in this one. But look, let me just flip through the book. It's a, it's a stunning book. I mean, and, and so it's a it's like a, a fairy tale. It's got a whole story to it. And it's stunning. And it's also on watercolor. Uh, uh, 70 East Books. Yes. Thank you, Pacola. 70 East Books is one. There's two of them. 70 East Books is one. And there's another one. But thank you, Pacola. And um, it's like a it's like a watercolor paper. Okay. It's like a watercolor paper. And so you it is a little trickier to work with with the pencils you got it is a little trickier i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's a little trickier to work on this now say i did this one and again <clears throat> they are stunning books devin they're stunning books Oh, thanks, Pacola. So there is a link if you look. Uh, now, what she's got for sale right now, I have no idea. But that Pacola found the uh, Etsy link right there. Thank you, Pacola. Always on it, Pacola. Uh, but it's a whole story. It's a whole story, and there's just stunning artwork in it. I think this is the one I did the dragon in, too. Did I pass it up? Oh, here it is. There it is. Okay. So I'm not finished with this dragon here, but I finished this side. So I put pearls. I put liquid pearls on it. So that has a little bit of pearl dimension to it. So, yeah, there's the dragon scales. And then all those little liquid pearls. But you got to do something like that. You got to better make sure it's 100% dry. So, oh, look, we have a visitor. Hey, baby. We have a visitor. So, let's see. I showed that one. But the just the artwork in it is just so beautiful. Thanks. You like the, like the glitter? Yeah. Can't go by the cords. No. No, 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 no. I love the cords. Okay, let's see what else I got done in here. Oh, I love this one. I've seen a lot of people color this one. Which is this? They've colored that one. This one. This one. I love this. this. Is one of my favorites. Does the glitter make it difficult to color? No. The oh, the next page. Not really. These, these papers are pretty thick. If you um, if you need to, you can put some a couple of papers between so that there's no lumps. But you do have to consider that. Now, would I color? Can I color behind this now? This is the very last page. Um, I would not put liquid pearls where you want to color because if I try to color here, I'm going to pick up those liquid pearls, no doubt, because that is really bumpy. So you do have to consider that. But I love my um, cherry blossom here. So I really like her. And I think I use pan pastel on this. I'm pretty sure the background is pan pastel on this one. To get it that pretty soft yellow, use pan pastel. But if you use pan pastel, you have to spray it. You have to spray pan pastel. Okay, what else? This one. See, 
see it wants to flash the color out if I get too close. This is paint in the background and then soft pencil. I softened it with a sienna pencil around the edge there. So yeah. Eh. There we go. But it's just a beautiful book. And again, that was the I did this was the first page. Do you use Copic? No, no Copic. Acrylic and pencil. No, no, no. I don't use Copics in any color book that's double-sided. Not even this watercolor thicker paper. Don't use alcohol markers in your color books that are double-sided. It will go through. Even if it doesn't go through to this page, it's going to come through here. No, there's no Copics in here. Okay. And then this one, this is the one I bought. I bought this. Is this the art book one? Or there's a color book and an art book. And I don't know if this is the art book. Um, this might be the art. Yeah, this is the art book. Okay, so this is the art book. So it comes with the posters. I don't know. I think I paid like $50 for this book. It comes with this small little color book. Okay, it comes with the small version. Let's see? And then the actual uh, painted, like I think the artist painted in watercolors, did them in watercolors. So it's a whole poster. It's double paint here. It's too big to put up under here. But it's all the watercolor. I have the, the color book and the art book for this. So, um, mm -mm. so this is the art book. And it's just beautiful, beautifully done here. No, some of it looks digi, some of it looks watercolor. I can't say because it's not in English. So um, some of it could be uh, digi, some of it watercolor. Kind of looks like a combo in some. But uh, like this, look. See, that's kind of watercolor. But then this looks digi, see? So some looks watercolor, some looks digi. See, this is there, this is uh his or her version of my of the girl. Uh I don't know if Gugeli is a girl or a, a man or a woman. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody probably knows, but anyway, the, the this is their version of it. And this look this does look watercolor. But it could, you know, digi, you can make things look watercolor with digi. So, so I just got uh, tons of these kind of books, and they're just stunning. But this one was the art book, and again, I know these are not cheap. This is not cheap. There it is, 70 East Books. 70 East, is. this was the wraparound. This was the belly band. Okay, so that is the, the book, the art book, and the color book. All right, hang on. Let's see what else. I've got time for maybe one or two more. Let's see. Let put these back up on the shelf. Um, this one is, I love this book, and I, I always said I was going to finish, completely finish this one. But, uh, of course, I still, I have all my, um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Those are mostly torn out and put in my binder. But let's see. Here's let's let's see what it is right here. All right. Momo. Let's see. I got my Momo books. Let's pick. Let's maybe pick these. I've colored much in those, but my Momo. Okay, let me show you a couple more of this. And this is Momo, and she's done, or he. I keep I say she, but I think Momo books are girl okay so and the names of them i think melody might have gotten me both of these let's see i should have it in here uh, but i'm pretty sure melody got me these so anyway it's the, these are both by the same artist and um i think sammy has colored quite a few out of this one but they're all stunning now this one is a poem 
and you can find the translation for the whole poem. The whole poem is um, you can find the translation for, but you can see it here, right? I'm pretty sure it's Korean. It's all in Korean, but um, here's one I did here. I did her. And this double page spread, the poppies. Done something with this one. This I did with um I started with the base, I'm pretty sure with pan pastels, and then went in there with some pencil. So her. I think Sammy Sammy did her. This one. Again, pan pastels. And then these are some of the pages that are already, this is the color, the ones that come, come in the book already colored. And then this one, and they have just beautiful, you know, dust jackets on them. And I mean, they're just stunning books. Look, extras, postcards. These have already black in the background. This one. There's gold all in there. This took a while. I don't know the name of this one here. <laughs> but if you look up Momo, M-O, M-O, that's, that's who does it. That's what he or she is not named for. Momo is the art artist. Because when I was doing all these back when they came out a few years ago, uh, there's ton look up on Instagram. You'll find tons of Momo. Um, I forget the names of them now, guys. Sorry, it's just been so long. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know anymore, Julia. Okay. So yeah, this one is Momo girl. Momo girl. That's right. Amanda girl with poems, girl with poems. Yeah. So, but if you look up Momo, you'll find, just put up Momo Asian color book. You'll find it. It's, you'll find it'll come up, but I don't know if she's, if these are on 70 East or not. And then this one, which goes this way. And I think Melody got me this. Yeah, Melody got me this one. And this has large faces and like very um, dramatic line art in it. You'll see. I think I've done one or two in here. This was the belly band, but I don't have any information on it this one's just blocked in so there's nothing there I know I, I thought I did a guy in this one there's a, I did a there's a cat I thought I did some kind of like a prince charming guy in this one but I guess no I'm not thinking of this one then hmm okay well anyway if you look the look at 70 east books on Etsy there's tons I mean I've, I've got I mean, I just showed y'all like five or six. I've got another, I don't know, 20 more Asian color books up here. But I do have um, lots of, um, I'll show you this too. These aren't people, but if you like a different kind of color book, I'll show these real quick too. But before I show you this, this is the other one I pulled up. This is the one I say I want to finish. I want to finish the Ink House by Rory Dobner. <laughs> I love this book. And I did start going through. What I did is I went through with my super tips, yellow and purple. I went through and colored everything that I wanted to do yellow. Oh, I guess I did some blue too. But everything in here that's uh, like yellow ochre or purple. And so I got, I got something done on every page. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I colored something on every single page 
And so I wanted it to be cohesive, purple background there. Um, so I I want to I want to finish this book one of these days. So I went through and started. Well, this one I finished. This page I finished. But um, I do no, I didn't. I didn't do these books. I thought I finished it. I did the uh, stained glass and I did this. I still have to finish those books. I thought I finished this one. Sorry guys, I don't think I finished any full page in this. But I went through and colored something on every page. Because I told myself I really, really want to finish this book. Because I love this book so much. Hey, CB, do you have electricity? Mom's finally came back on in the middle of the night, CB. So this is an amazing book. And it's got a whole story to it. It's called The Ink House. Oh, I did that with some gold. I know it's beautiful. The whole little story in it. So you can see I've colored something on every page. So yeah, it's called the ink house. It's got this cut out in there. It's just a stunning mess of claw. It's like claw. And then these, let me show you these real quick. And the hub's just probably going to be home for lunch any minute. <clears throat> Zimio Snovas um, by Tomislav Tomic. And I love this book too. But this is work. This is some work, people. <laughs> I'm just going to say. This is one of the longest. This, this double page spread was one of the longest coloring pages I've ever done. Other than the werewolf. The werewolf in... Um, uh, Kirby's Kirby Roseanne's book, The Werewolf, that took me many, many hours. This took many, many, many hours. This took forever. Bye, Pacola. Thanks so much for being here. So, okay, CB, we'll try to catch up on this heat when you can. So, yeah, can't get it too close, but look, all that. And this one I did washes. I did washes and then went back and did the pencil. There's little hidden animals everywhere in this book. This is a labor of love if you want to do something in this book. And then these two, um, and I never can pronounce the names. <laughs> this is Rhapsody in the Forest. <laughs> and uh, these are also stunning books. Let me put up the. And I've done quite a few in both of these. Um, let me kind of flip. But again, lots of gardens and, and, and little animals. Tons. So this one. did this one. I can't hold it up without flashing out too much. But this one. I still haven't finished coloring those two pages. <laughs> it is, it's a lot. And hi, Tina, by the way. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, lots and lots of, lots of, lots of uh, detail. Did this one, Tina are, Tina, are you the Tina from Creepy Little Book? Are you the same Tina, Tina? I can't remember. It's in there. That one. This one. The reindeer. Really like the reindeer. Okay, I wasn't sure, Tina. Yeah, Tina is a mod for Creepy Little Book. If you haven't, if you like to, and, and again, you have to like this kind of stuff, which I do. If you like, like UFO speculation, Bigfoot, you know, all that, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Um, Creepy Little Book does, let me see if I can get a, let me see, get a picture on my phone of the, Tina's the mod over there. 
Hang on, let me see if I can get. Hang on, I'm digging around here. Hang on, where's my, where's my, there it is, hang on. Okay, hang on, let's go from there. Ah, come on, let's do, where's the search thing here? The search, creepy. Yeah, aliens, any of that stuff. Okay, so here's what it looks like. The I was trying to do, hang on, trying to do the logo so y'all can see what to look for, but it's not wanting to turn for me. Well, if you look right there, this is what it looks like. That's the logo for a creepy little book. Okay. <laughs> but I, but he doesn't come on till like midnight, right, Tina? Midnight. So I never get to watch eleven. It's maybe it's eleven or midnight. I never get to watch the show live. It's every night, right? <laughs> Thanks, Tina. I think it's every night or six nights a week, but I have to watch the recordings because it's too late for me. When you get up at 4.30 in the morning, you can't stay up till 2 in the morning. <laughs> Just, you know what I mean? Okay, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Let's see, did I finish this one? I think I have. Okay, let's, get, let's show this one real quick. This one has one of my, um, this one, okay, so this one's called, this is the Dance of Dance of Happiness is the translation. So if you look up Dance of Happiness, that's this one. Let me show you the few pages I got done in here. This one. This one. This one. But there's this little animals that you just have so much fun making little fluffy, little fluffy bunnies and squirrels. But one of these is one of my very favorites I've ever done. This one. This again is one of my very favorite color book pages. I have a, I have maybe five or six. This is one of them. This is one of my all-time favorite color book pages that I've done. I just love this page. <laughs> Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. Monday through Friday, 1 a.m. Eastern, Saturday and Sunday, 11 Eastern. See, I don't, I can't make those. I mean, I've, I've got, I've been there sometimes. Like if I wake up in the middle of the night and I just click on to see, you know, maybe five minutes, but I just can't, I can't do that one to two at night and then, or in the morning and then get up at 4 30. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks, Dina. But this is one of my favorites. But if you like that show, I mean, I'm serious. If you like to listen to speculation and, you know, uh, and stuff like that, it's really it's really good. Have you tried jelly gouache in your cup? No, I haven't. But it's, to me, Candace, it's really not going to be any different much than watercolor, you know, um, or, you know, even watered down acrylic. Even down, yeah. Oh, did I mention it? it's Pete? Pete's his name, by the way. Pete at Creepy Little Book. So, I'm not sure. Uh, Carla, what's on Amazon? This book is on Amazon, Carla? I just say Amazon! <laughs> uh, we just do, Julia. We get up early. Hubster is always, he's he walks or jogs every day. And or kind of combination walk jogs. And, you know, sometimes I wake up that early. I don't necessarily get out of bed that early, but we get up early. We just are early risers around here. We just get up early. It's like uh, we can hear John Wayne in our head going uh, daylight, burning daylight. <laughs> I can't do a John Wayne. Hubster can do a John Wayne imitation. Yeah. Creepy little book is the name of the channel. And Tina's is the mod and Pete is the owner of the channel. 
It's, I mean, I enjoy it, you, but you have to like it. You have to like that kind of stuff. Right, Tina? <laughs> but anyway, so this is one of my favorite pages. Mm. This one got a start, and I think that's all in this one. But anyway, I am going to let you guys go. I hope you got some more ideas. Um, where is my book I'm working on? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> So we got a start. We got a start here on this one. And this is the new uh, Fragile World by Kirby Rosans. I did do a flip of it early at the beginning. Well, kind of mid, 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 middle of the show. And then we started here. This is all, this is just a, a acrylic wash. And then you go back in with your pencils on top of your acrylic wash. And then that's what you do. All right. Any quick questions? Oh, Tori has an Amazon delivery. Oh, did I get a delivery? Is it here? Do I need to go check my porch? Is that what you're saying? Because I can't check my Amazon for somebody else's. Do you want me to go check? All right, let me go check my porch. I haven't seen anybody out of the corner of my eye. I'm right outside my window here. My studio is uh, the driveway. And I would think I would see it. But let me go check the porch. Hang on. No Amazon deliveries. No Amazon deliveries. <laughs> yeah. I have some stuff coming. So, okay. Any questions or anything before we go? I don't know why the hubs are usually home for lunch by now. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed seeing everybody's art cards. You have till the 24th to get me your art cards. We have probably 60 so far. 60 sets thereabouts of art cards that you guys have sent in that I will swap out after the 24th. So you still have a little bit of time. If yours are in the mail, fear not, they still could get here. <laughs> um, let's see. Thanks. You're what? Thank you, Julie. Thank you, my mod Julie. Julie Topaz, Janet, and Pacola are my are my mods. They are awesome. Follow them everywhere. <clears throat> Julie Topaz has an Instagram. So does Janet. Thank you, Janet. We'll try to talk later. Hi, Donna. Donna's in uh, Donna's in uh, Trinidad, uh, Tobago. Is that right, Donna? Do I have the right? Yeah. Um, thanks, Trisha. Thanks, Trisha. I love my papers in the background. All my background, my background papers are brought to you by Trisha Green. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all have a great day. Say, stay warm, CB. You and my mom, stay warm. <laughs> Hopefully, your electricity stays on, CB. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.